Alright, Hajime Mashinchi. Time to probably finish Elden Ring's base game. Awesome stuff. So, I gotta go take on the Frenzied Flame first thing. That's nice and all. See how it works. <sighs> so right, this is what I had when I beat Melania. Honestly, first thing to do is probably farm one singular rune arc. I can pop it on once I get through farm to farm Azula, because if I do it beforehand, then I'm going to end up in a position where I... Oh, a heavy load. Going to end up in a position where I'm probably going to die and lose it, which would be not very fun. Okay. It's time to go back. Time to go back. So my question is, that would take... Oh, golden centipedes for the death white bolses? Interesting. Okay. But yeah. Should be decent. Farm Azula shouldn't take all that long. And... Level. Should not take all that long either. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you. This is... Yeah, this is the first time you've seen the new me. Isn't that right? That's nice. Well, I'm glad you finally got a chance. How are you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Fair. Yeah, right now, I'm just trying to get a few rune arcs for my trip through Funny Dragonland. I feel like three would be more than enough. But, like I said before, the idea is going to be have a really kind of complicated setup in order to kill one of the harder bosses, a duo boss. What do you mean, not supposed to grind? I didn't know there were limits to where you're supposed to grind in Fantasy Life. Where are you right now in Fantasy Life? Is this a new playthrough, or...? Yeah, not supposed to grin. And there are no smiling zones. You're not allowed to be happy. Or at least to show it. Okay. I think, yeah, three should be enough for the end, but there is supposed to be at least one rune arc in Farm Azula itself, so... I don't know. At least want one to start. Oh, oh, the fire cave. Isn't that the one where Durandal is? It's been a while since... Last time I played it was in high school. Oh, okay. I definitely told you already, but... Jack is, or at least was, a huge Fantasy Life guy. Well, it... I don't imagine they would have changed Durandal's name. Unless they really don't like the Matter of Friends. Yeah, it... It was a big part of my last few years. It... I like it a lot. It... Kind of fills a similar niche to modded Minecraft for me. In that... Or at least, like, Dawncraft did. So we got one. Well, it... Y you know Durandal, right? It's, it's the Sword of Roland. And it... Oh! Thank you. We got a good amount. I think that should take me to the end. Okay, cool. So the next goal is going to be... Gotta go to Frenzied Flame Proscription down here. But we're over here with Fire Giant. I want to show part of what's initially supposed to happen. Let me go up with Melina. But we are going to try to save Melina in a silly way, which is by accepting the Frenzied Flame, becoming Lord of Frenzied Flame, and then cleansing ourselves of the Frenzied Flame, which will make her hate us forever. She'll never help us. It... I basically did the same thing. Honest to goodness. You know, do not... Do not tell Fantasy Life superfans, but Fantasy Life's plot is mediocre. The life gameplay is really where it's at. What does cleansing myself of the frenzied flame? I guess. What is interesting is that in some mods for Elden Ring, they added 
a boss in that pit over there. But there's literally no way down there. It just kills you. At least in this game. But I'm pretty sure... You can definitely get across here, but I don't think there's anything. And that gap can't be crossed. But on the other side of this gap is a grace I need to interact with to burn the Erd Tree, which we can kind of see from over here. Prove what? No, because that would kill me. This gap very obviously can't be jumped. Well, to be fair, I don't have a Runark active, but then I would have to go back around, and I don't want to waste any time tonight. Because I can only be on for about three and a half hours, because there's a local little summer festival going on. My dad wants me to meet up with him, so we can watch this little band of dads play. So, in theory, this should not take nearly as long as Halo Tree did. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited for it. it it's a band that covers a lot of 80s grunge type stuff, which is... I mean, 90s grunge, which is a type of music that I'm particularly partial to. In part because of him. That smoldering butterfly was there, and that's the butterfly for Melon. Uh, okay, so let's... Right over here, hello. Touch the grace. And this is where Melon will say, Hello, please let me kill myself to burn the earth tree. Ah, uh, talk to Mel. Yeah, let's talk. What about moms? I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? No. Very well. Tell me when you are fully prepared. Sorry, Melina, but we don't want you to die. And again, this will make her hate us forever. She will leave and never come back. Oh, also, that's right, there's a dung eater over there. But first, we're going down to Frenzied Flame Prescription. As in a forbidden place for the Frenzied Flame. And before, Morgoth was... What about them would make you sound crazy? Oh, that's heavy. Hmm. Take that. And this should be right. Not this. We want physical res and think. Jarson would actually be good. It's not bad. I'll just put on lots of very heavy armor now. And I still can't put on the helmet. It that's interesting. Elaborate on that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, but she's... Oh, uh, now that we're here. Tells us not to go further. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you mm -hmm. cease. It is not to be meddled with. Sorry. chaos, devouring life and thought unending. It's the one thing they can destroy However, spirits, too. This world has become... However mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. She said, don't do the antinatalism ending. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. Let's... Put on some spells. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's add all the spells of Kruva. That's right, since we killed Millennia, get a new spell from Gideon. That's right. Interesting. I... What, what does that... What does that mean? I mean, I can kind of tell. Right, we can get a final spell from Gideon. Okay. Talons are crazy, man. Hi. You. What is it? Halo tree roots. Yep, and Mikola gun, but we did Moog's first, so. Okay. That was Moog. Indeed. It 
seems those words held weight. How vexing that the all knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen Sora was just. So. But we're gonna get the anti holy defense spell now. There. The information you shared is of great value. You promised your reward. A secret right known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Well, then that word you used, the job description, doesn't count. If it's for free, definitionally, that's not an accurate description. Taunt to Gideon the All-Knowing by the Two Fingers greatly increases holy damage for caster and nearby allies. Gideon gained true knowledge after his long exchange with the Two Fingers, discovering all had been broken long ago. The Trembling Fingers bent with age and the urge for itself were no exception. Well, what is it now? And nothing new. Well, what is it now? Yep, we have absolutely nothing to talk to him about anymore because we discovered all the unlocated demigods. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So we can go and get some items. Could get Millennia's set. Winged Helm on Allied Gold. Millennia and Blade of Nickel and... Oh! Loretta's set! Journey Search to Haven for Albinorix. Hill Tree. Best Chance for Eventual Salvation. Brother Wolf. Waited for the husk. We'll keep his promise. Wisdom aware of a god most fearsome and purian of them all. Ah, uh, it's the same armor but now it's gold. Once a royal Akarian knight, Lapis the Lazuli and Bouquet, Nightly Guard, Pride that continues to guide her. Gauntlets, over gauntlets, okay. Buy a few of these. And there we go, we got the armor. Oh, but right, we need to get a spell. So for Millennia's Remembrance. You can get the Hand of Melania, which is the second longest normal katana. Highest dexterity requirement in the game of anything in the series. Blade built into Melania's prosthetic arm through consecration is resistant to rot. Melania's war prosthesis symbolizes victory. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft. Wings of fierce determination, never known defeat. Large will dance. For the wheat, men over water fells with graceful slash and combo. Pita inputs up to two fall of attacks. Technique, not a spell, but a technique of Millennium Goddess of Rot. Three slots used. Gigantic flower that blooms into an explosion of scarlet rot. Each time the scarlet flower blooms, Millennium's rot advances. If it's bloomed twice already, for third bloom she'll become a true goddess. Let's actually take that. Use that in some enemies. Can actually use Waterfall Dance for some interesting platforming skips. But if I do that, I'll do that later. Okay. So a lot of platforming that's easy to die in over here, which is why I'm not going to use a Runark yet. Alright. Go in here then. Oh, right, we should put on my spells. This. Golden Vow. Sure. Flame. Various protection spells. Got most of these now. And. Oh, they're all kind of weirdly ordered. And flame Protect Me. Black Flames Protection. And then a couple of projectile spells, I suppose. Then, of course, Light. This. Not Grails, but. Hmm. Maybe we could put on one of the Loretta ones and then use. Light. Yeah, Starlight. There we go. Train station. Oh my goodness. That... Is that a reference to Titian's sacred and profane love painting? And here we have it. We have a bunch of... Oh, all these merchants who were buried because of the frenzied flame. You can even hear a few of them singing still. Time for madness, yeah. Oh. Okay, well, you should have been. Hmm. These guys were all buried to try to contain the frenzied flame. 
Huh? Is there another? I know that there's platforming to do around here that gets you some stuff. And this tent can only be destroyed by their frenzy flame attacks. Thank you. I, ooh, all right. Interesting. I, okay, there we go. All right. Got that. Ah, oh, nomadic merchant set. Fun. I, okay, dodge. Ooh, ooh, all right. Oh, goodness. I, luckily, we can take him down pretty easily. Do you? The Grace Mimic. Well, that makes sense. We're not that old. Nomadic Merchant's Chapeau, Ton of Gems, Wide Spectrum of Colors, Merchants Once Thrived as a Great Caravan. After being accused of radical beliefs, their entire clan was rounded up, buried alive far underground, then they chanted a curse of despair and summoned the Flame of Frenzy. Alright. And... Okay. There we go. 1967. Aww. All buried alive. There's stuff in here we need to alert them to blow this up. I uh, come on, get over here. What do you mean by that? And oh, just five eyes of yellow. Okay, thanks. And I, ooh, oh, okay. Come on, come on. So then, he's still playing. That guy's still playing? Yeah, he's still playing his instrument. That's sad. Well, how many more are around here? Let's put them out of their misery at least. Lots of them. Well, you're also just tired. I think that's different. Hmm. Anyone else in where? I know that there might be a few more. I'm sure well somewhere around here, but don't see any lock on points right now. Maybe up top. Hmm. I just Oh uh, yeah. There you are. So the music has been silenced. For now, kinda. Or actually I feel like maybe every time you kill one, another one wakes up and starts playing music. Interesting. Huh. But, frankly, their song is pretty cool. I don't dislike it. Just gotta keep working our way down until we get to the Flame of Frenzy. Which, I know that there are various spots to drop down, and eventually you can get the heaviest shield in the game here. Oh, well, we have to drop down here. Hello. Oh, to drop down this way. Then those gravestones will eventually stuff too. It, it'd be funny. Frenzied cookbook, and that's... Ah, oh, the Frenzy Flame Stone, which only works for you if you have... If you've accepted the Frenzied Flame. So to get down there, to that shield. For one, we should activate another set of grace first. Okay. But it's those tents that I need to destroy with... The Frenzied Flame, which is a gimmick that's only in this area specifically. That, like those other skeletons and the other parts of the game. Hmm. So I'm going to have to do a lot of platforming here, but this is interesting. Hmm. That's tough. Question is, to get up or get down? I, huh. Where is the actual shield? I ooh, all right. This is complicated. Reminds me of Firelink Shrine, actually. Some stuff here, not here. Oh come on. Does that mean? Oh, I'm just screwed then. I just dropped down the wrong way. Huh. All right. So he needs. To, well, actually, could I? I, even if I could make that, that's going to stop me. Well, there are a lot of people who specifically call guitars axes. So I'd say an axe. Even though maybe that would require a bit more sharpening. I don't know. It 
It depends on your definition of good. Hmm. Challenging is not necessarily the same thing as good. Okay, well, that's over there. Let's drop down and get my runes back and then teleport back. Hi. This is interesting, that's for sure. Come on, I okay. Weird, I okay, let's get those runes and oh my goodness. Definitely can't reach it out from there, so. It, well, isn't smacking them with the flat of the guitar, or is that what you mean? You would say that, wouldn't you? Come on. So, let's get that. It's got to go down, accept the Frenzied Flame. Now we got a special seal, too. Frenzy Flame seal. Come on, come on. Get down over here. Requires a drop down, too, but... The question is, where next? Aww. I... Let's see if I can... There we go, and... Actually down here, maybe. Ooh, ooh. Where is my... Where's the shield? Is it there, or... Probably there. Okay. And can I... No, no. Come on. Sure, you can... You're allowed to talk. Hmm. It... Huh. This is interesting. Probably put on that sacrificial twig. Don't really need much in the way of... Armor right now if I'm not fighting things. It's all about just getting to the bottom of the area. Actually surviving that fall. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting here, and it's... I mean, the big thing is that... It's not supposed to be easy to get down here, because you're not really supposed to get down here. It's... Forbidden area. Frenzied Flame Prescription. Okay. Let's take off that twig. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. By the way, I need to get down to that part and then keep dropping down. With a work in progress? WIP? Huh. <sighs> but on the way down, there is a very, the heaviest shield in the game. The Fingerprint Stone Shield. Oh, oh, interesting. Like I've said before, would you have any interest in a viewer D&D &D campaign? Aww. Bet I could actually drop down here. Yeah, that worked. And the shield is where? Down there. I think... I went down this way. I could get it. I... What? No! Okay. Okay. Huh. Huh. Ah, interesting. Well, it... As in... He didn't have any idea of... Does he play d d Or... Was that just something outside of his normal peer view? Come on, Frenzy Flame Prescription. Show me the way. Okay, well, I don't know. Because, you know, knowing how to build a character is one thing, but... Aw. Down there, I... Probably want to... Run and try to... Did I... Ooh, we kind of managed, but... Down there is another question. Huh. I... What if I... Ooh, ooh. Then jump down onto that. I... Can I... Man... What? What in the goddamn? That was really stupid. Come on. And can I... Oh. No, that's inescapable frenzy. Oh, what? 
Well, that's a new spell. Actually, one I wanted. You know, if when Frenzy forgot I didn't have it. Caster's eyes, latches on the first, spreading madness, causes a build of madness of the caster. The only effect gets tarnished, gaze in one another's eyes, for the most intimate form of human contact. Okay. So I think actually the stone shield might be here. Oh no, this just leads up to. But wait, huh? Where is. To destroy that tent. Is this the place? Is this. There's our stone shield! Okay, I. How do I. Get this guy going. Oh, not like that, I. Thank you. Wake you up. And come on over here. Destroy this tent for us. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, please. I... Uh, get closer. What are you going to do? I... Thanks. Ah. Well, I can't destroy them myself. I need Frenzy Flame Attacks from him. Slowly getting closer. I... Thank you. There we go. Well, that hit me. Well, because it's all about... What? Huh? Okay. That was really stupid. Hopefully that stays broken. I'm not sure it will. Huh. <sighs> that was obnoxious. I thought I would be able to kill him before he attacked again. That was not the case. Honestly, I should have used Flame Protect Me. Should have used Flame Protect Me. So that... Wouldn't have to worry about the actual damage from that. It wouldn't even be that hard. And just right over there, whenever I need that, I'll just cast it. Next time I run into one of those guys. Actually, what I really should have done is equipped... The Talisman, since when I got down there, I wouldn't have to worry about dying anymore, really. Okay. Come on. Thanks. Ooh, ooh. Please, please. I... There, and... Can I... There we go. I... Right, I... Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Some of that, but we need to get inside is the thing. I... Okay, thanks turn pretty easily and this should be yep we're back where we needed to be and of course it's back again let's put on our fire protection charm cast fire protection spell thank you and just smack the guy once there we are but well, that dealt more damage than the staff kind of surprising to me just get over here. Get over here. Any times I'm going to have to use Flame Protect Me anyway. Well, we'll see. Just going to keep on casting this until... This thing is gone. Get over here. Thanks. It. This is like hurting cats. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure our dog is blind now. It's very sad. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Mikola's Needle. Interesting. Pure Mikola, craft needle, resisting to other gods. Those who inherit the wish from the frenzy is, wish not to become its sword would do well to seek Mikola's Needle. Okay, well. How many more tents are down here, if any? It. The dog's not evil. I'm just not especially fond of him, because I'm not nice and not a dog person. It, it's not the dog's fault. Okay. One, two. So now we should have what we need. This should be the. Oh, and it just falls. Okay. Cool. And that's the place. That is the fingerprint stone shield, the heaviest shield of all. Best defense, and it gets very close to 100% fire resistance to fire infuse it. Great stone shield, intricately carved fingerprint designs, one of the heaviest of all great shields, and the heaviest can actually use. That name made me think there would be a heavier one in the DLC. There was not. Part of the tomb of an ancient god. 
Reader was fingers relayed their message through these imprints said to be the very seeds from its frenzy for sprouted. It... I suppose. Oh, and I can't even use... Can't even use any weapons right now. Huh. Okay. And now Melon is gonna say, uh-uh, don't get closer. Strives to become a lord. Deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the lord of when the land. They, please, put a stop to this madness. I will. The lord of when the land. Okay. So we can go to Hayata. Also, we can't go in right now because you have to take all your clothes off, actually. Here is... Yep, that stone door scorched by the fingers. That's Hayata, who we met before. Hello, Hayata. So you're here as well, are you? Yes. I realized as we've talked, mm. I've yeah. And you, surely a lord. Go to the door. Well, the reason is actually about reducing the work the devs have to do. Because Vike, one of the guys we killed before, he has a special set of armor which has this fingerprint on it, and they didn't want to have to make a fingerprint variant for every piece of armor. Which could be quite cool, but would be a lot of work. Yeah. Well, there you go. Here's your explanation. But there'd be chaos. Can't do it yet. We gotta take everything off. Actually. Yep, we don't need to put away the weapon, just take the clothes off. Okay, time for fun. Time for chaos. Ooh, it's burning. Not long? Is this not long? Five star selector is crazy. But. I'm wondering who I'd pick. The only standard five star I don't have any cons for is Dia. There we are. Oh look, hello fingers. Literally. It wouldn't even surprise me. They're fans. And these are the three fingers, as opposed to the two fingers we saw before. Hi. How you doing? Not much for conversation, are we? Give me a big hug. Boop. Controller is shaking. they actually fade. So now we bear the flame of frenzy in us. Nice. There we go. We're all scorched. That's fun. We have these glowing frenzy eyes. Ah, but now that's right. We can actually light this place up a little. Hyatta should be gone, actually after giving us some stuff. Cool burn marks. And hello. Uh, the flame of chaos is nestled within you. I guess so. Could you please rest your oh. right, blind. Oh. That gives us the seal. Oh. oh. Burning. Oh my goodness. They're melting. Ah! 
That was rather unpleasant. Still blindfolded. Thank you. Thank you. I have touched them. The words of the three fingers. As your maiden, allow me to divine them. All that there is came from the one great five fingered hand. And earths. And mm. Destroy everything. In the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people mad and is widely regarded as a bad move. Everyone born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned. It's like Xenoblade. Hello! Just became. Thank you! Lord of Frenzied Flame. And that should be the end of Hyatt. We should get the seal. Held without words. How are you doing? Antinatalism. Mm. Destroy everything. I beat Millennia last time. It took a lot longer than I expected. It was Bloody Helos at the end that actually did the trick. No more birth. Yep. Mm. And is that going to be... Ah, she's burning away. Now, it took... It took four hours, though. <laughs> and there was the Frenzy Flame Seal and five Frenzy Flame Stones. And that formless sacred seal bestowed by the Maiden of the Three Fingers enhances the incantations of the Frenzy Flame. Mark of the Lord of Frenzy Flame. Seals the incantations and strength, dexterity, intelligence, faith all together. But it's actually not all that good. Yeah, there, there was... I tried four separate strategies before settling on Body Hewis, and now Millennia hates us. Awesome. You have inherited the frenzied flame. Not long. Pity. You are no longer. Uh -uh. Our journey together ends here. Bye. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Don't Chaos, plan on it. I will kill you. As sure as night follows day, such is my duty. Mm. For allowing you the strength of runes. T Blaine's, do you think Melon is the Glomite Queen? I think she is. Mm. It would explain a number of things, quite frankly. And yeah, Pyatta is just gone. The Glomite Queen. The mother of the Godskin Apostles. Or just the leader of the Godskin Apostles. Let me put this back on now. Put my clothes back on. I also use that rune arc. That's right. I also need to get. Oh, dung eater rune. It's kind of funny that, honest to goodness, there's really no better option than. Yeah. The big thing is that DLC. Well, there are people who make the argument in light of the DLC that Melina is in Imperium. Which would make sense because the description of the Gwomod Queen we get is of her as an Imperium. Okay, so Dung Eater is over there. Go and take down. I mean, the big thing is that in the in the files they explicitly say that Melanie is the daughter of Merica. In the files, her events are basically like Marika no Musume, which is just, you know, daughter of Marika, which is interesting just on its own. The main thing is there's a lot in the base game to suggest her descent from Marika. Thank you, I. Okay, interesting. Can I? Ooh, all right. And can we stance break? There we go. This weapon is so good for taking down Omen. Which is pretty important right here and right now. Right, we should get some Starlight back in. I wonder best way to take down the... Well, I would use Burno Flame for the Miranda Flowers if it weren't for the fact that I don't have it equipped right now. So I guess I'll be using Rivers of Blood. I tried using Rivers of Blood on Moania, and it just didn't work all that well. It took a lot of effort that I did not want to have to expend. So you use it intelligently. 
Some that did not take intelligence to use was the Mogwin Sacred Spear, which was pretty interesting and fun. But the thing about Mogwin Spear, though, is that it left me vulnerable for so long. And even though I built myself around tanking, I don't have a lot of vigor. That hurt a little. Come on. And thank you. It's going to be nice to get Shard of Alexander eventually from Farmazulum, but slow out some time before that. Nice to get another Renor from that. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Let's just spam. Busting the retreat. Golden Vow is good. Honestly, Ward's Divine Fortification. Sure. And then we can spam our corpse power. Thank you. And... Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, we got a lot of stuff protecting us, but... Thank you. The damage is not nearly as good as I would expect it to be. It is a weapon that really wants to use arcane specifically, but still. I think I'm probably better off just spamming Black Flame. That's sad. So... Going in here for Dung Ending. It... Well, the funny thing is, it does. You can actually proc bleed on the Miranda Flowers, and pretty effectively, too. It takes a decent amount, but you can still very adequately bleed them. Just... I guess it's supposed to be chlorophyll. But the funny thing is, it's got the same exact... Oh, bleed... Effect, graphically, as... Let's do some boluses. Same void effect graphically as any other thing that has actual blood. Which is interesting to say the least. Because you can see, and... No, it does actually have chlorophyll. It bleeds a bunch of chlorophyll. So it bleeds green. There are a number of, and I really like that they do it, a number of things in the game that... Can be bled, but don't have blood proper. So the liquid they spray is not red. A lot of corpses have this sort of grayish green fluid that they spray when you proc bleed on them. And it seems as if, okay, so those finger creepers stay dead. It's actually really nice. Well, we got every last seed bed curse in the game so we can feed everyone to Dung Eater, the Ass Eater, and still have one left over. I think, right? Seed bed curse, bed curse, there are. And there's six total. Oh, in the... Yeah, yeah, and you can miss. You need five. Okay. Let's give it to him. Oh, but you know what? Let's get some light in here first. Make things real pretty. Hello, dong boy. You're making noise. Covered in blood. So you got the funny frenzy eyes. Curse it all of them. Children, 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 all time to come. Is a curse. Oh, and there's a... Oh, it fades to black, kind of like cutting stuff with Kuro. Because presumably we do something unspeakable. Well, given that his entire deal is in theory related to Shirokodama, which are little balls inside your butt. Oh, so we use them all at once. Okay. Okay. And that... Ah! Oh, the rune's just there. It's funny how it always faces the camera. Mending rune of the fell curse. Happy poop ending. Los loathsome rune gestated like a pregnancy, literally, by the dung eater. It's where the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. Revolve curse the eternally in the world's children, grandchildren, every generation. Hence will be its pustules. Order is defiled entirely. Defilement is defiled no more. And after every curse, a cursed blessing. What is interesting is that the phrase gestation, though the fact that Dawn Eater can also gestate, kind of argues against that. Wait. Is there one ritual pot I don't have? And okay, it used all of them. Interesting. So we got Death Prince, Spell Curse, and there's Golden One. But yeah, it used every single one. Interesting. But there's one ritual pot I don't have. Where did I miss that? Ritual pot and Shunning Grounds, Rise Aside Doom. 
Oh, I think there was one in Jarburg that I never saw, that I never got. It... I got both in Ariza. It was painful, but I got them. I think I missed one of them in Jarburg, actually. And we cannot further defile this corpse. How sad. Yeah, there was a large decorative pot with one on top. I think I missed that one. Possibly. Large decorative pot to the south. I think. Maybe it... Either way, I literally don't use ritual pots anyway. So it's not as if I'm really... Yeah, it... Ariza is ridiculous. I figured out that it... Maybe it's Orza. Because it's Oris. You know, as in relating to gold. But... I could... I never figured out specifically how many... How the cycles work. I just found, figured out that, okay, it cycles through when you go through and just kind of brute force it. Pretty sure I got one of them, but it's a jar to the south. Or so they say. Huh. Chill pot in Jarburg. Again, I don't use these things. But pot in the north, large decorative jar in the south. That ritual pot in boulders nearby or your horse to get on top of the jar. Large decorative jar. Okay. It, if I don't find it, it's honestly whatever. Or I can go back later during my DLC exploits. We're around here and it's, I get the, oh, it, Okay, cool. We got every ritual pot. All time. It's really funny that I found all the ones that were just around in dungeons. And that was the one I didn't have. Literal 10 out of 10. I actually tried using perfume bottles, specifically for iron jar aromatic, in order to make... Well, now we can burn the earth tree. We saved Melina, guys. We won the game by saving the girl. We're real heroes now. But as I was saying... How I got all the ones that were in those complicated dungeons and missed probably the most obvious. Time to br listen to the sounds of flame. Hmm. Alright then. I actually, I haven't seen this one. No one has some cool dialogue for the other one. This is one I have not seen. She says, Oh, Erdtree, you shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new lord. Goes pretty hard. But this is the other one. Slower she doesn't die. Oh, and it's the screams of the tormentor. That's pretty meta. But... But even if you cleanse yourself with Mikola's Needle, Melina never comes back. It... You never get rewarded for your good deeds, so to speak. She hates you forever. But you know, be being a hero, doing the right thing is not about recognition. Goodness is its own reward. Also, cool cutscenes. Hmm. Oh, also, T boys, they're adding Ever Jails to, El to Genshin with not one. <laughs> It, they already have the local legends, but they're having a sort of evolved version with their own sort of trial dimensions. They're a bit more gimmicky, and one of them is actually about the pair. Oh, we throw ourselves into the flame. You mean the Elden Ring? The Elden Ring is real. Threw ourselves into the flames. And... Hello, Formazoa. Yay! One ring. Elden piece? It's really, really funny, because there's now an official One Piece Roblox game I saw, and it looks so mid. It, there are so many fan-made One Piece games on Roblox that are actually really cool, and a lot of that are under... that are sort of One Piece games with a name filed off that are One Piece inspired but not actually One Piece. And they're all really, really cool, but... 
and a lot of effort is put into them, but they're not actually One Piece games. The big thing is that, in terms of graphics, they literally just put probably existing models, existing 3D models straight, just ported into Roblox, as opposed to, you know, doing them in the blocky style, and it just looks so mid. One of the, one of the, back when I played Roblox, before I had this PC, and needed to play basically, yeah, well, because... You know, no offense, man, but I saw someone say, you know, summing up the reasons why as money can never beat autism, which it's, it's pretty true. Well, maybe if you use money to hire autistic people, I don't know. But as I was saying, one of the game, basically, I used to play Roblox a decent amount back when I didn't have the PC and I didn't, exactly, I, see? And I didn't have money, and I needed to play knockoff versions of other games I was interested in playing. And so one of the games I played was called World of Magic, which was a pretty heavily One Piece inspired action RPG. And this is, oh, just Smithing Stone 8. It's decent. It was sort of a spiritual successor to a game called Arcane Odyssey, made by... No, I think Arcane Odyssey might have been the sequel of that, but to, sort of spiritual successor to another game that was very, very One Piece. And the magic was just a sub-in for Devil Fruit Powers. And I played it a decent amount, including with some of the boys. Dom actually liked it a lot for a reason you will find funny, which is Dom really likes the color purple. And that game had purple lightning. He really likes lightning, and he really likes the color purple. So any game with a purple electricity element will just gain his favor interest instantly he he's just that easy okay so last time i went to farm azula i was about 90 levels lower and had no vigor level it i can't imagine that this will be more di it is a good color you picked it help me oh help me it but you like fire so would you be purple fire then and it yeah, we're just chilling hard. It, these beast men are falling like chumps. When I fought them with my mage build, I had to use... And we can even get a backstab. I had to use rock sling. And even then it was tough. Now it... One of the reasons I actually picked orange and fire was a sort of character attribute is because it's actually one of the colder burning fire temperatures. Well, I guess, I don't know, if you add chemicals to it, all bets are off, but... You can add magnesium, it's not any hotter, but it's white and it blinds you. But, as I was saying, it... You know, I didn't want to... I didn't want to be too strong, you know? Okay. That is one heck of an attack. It... Bloodhound's Fang has been a crazy good weapon for... The entirety of my playthrough. I really, it's carried me hard. That said, when I get into DLC, I want to use DLC weapons and spells as much as possible. Just make a clean break with the past. So we've already found our first grace. <laughs> Relatively soon, I should actually be able to get to a point where I can use. Giant Crusher without having to equip a Talisman for more strength. Well, I don't even like pumpkins. I would be lying. It's not like I... Well, I don't dislike pumpkins. I have no particularly strong feelings about pumpkins one way or the other. That's what I'll say. So, oh, we don't have Lightning Fortification yet, which means... This option would probably be Flame, grant me strength. Yeah, I call that heresy, I guess. Okay, and a Dragon is coming up, which means... Decent amount of dragons in here, which means just it's time for pest threads. And where is pest threads again? It's servants of rot. Should be right around, not in there. So okay, there we go, pest threads. So in that case, if it's around here, best thing to do would be buff up before the dragon comes. It'll come around here, and it's not coming yet. Okay, let's unequip this sword. Put this on here. There's no seal that boosts rot incantation power, and have this on. Heaviest equipment in the game. So in that case, let's 
buff up a bit. Not full to our deaths. I'm not a pumpkin, okay? Come on. Okay, Flynn Grammy, the dragon should come shortly. And it's basically just a cheapo version of Land 6, so. Where are you? Where are you? Should be around here. Okay, and now you're coming in. Now you're coming. Oh, that's kinda tough. Uh, interesting. Okay, and. Thanks, thanks. Oh my goodness, you are actually rather. Strong? Okay. Mm. Come on, I need to heal up. Buff up. I okay. Thanks. Thanks. This is dedicated dragon killing spot. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I oh, alright. Huh. Maybe Flame Protect Me might have been better. Maybe. I don't know. Come on. Flame Grab Me Strength. This is... Well, it depends on your definition of hard hatting. Come on, keep spamming, and oh my, of course you're gonna use Land 6's Glaive again, I, okay, dodge, okay, what is, oh, lightning strikes, I swear, come on, come on, I'd say go for the head, but no, definitely not, I, oh, come on, come on, I, please, please, thanks, and, cool, and this should be decent, unless the range doesn't work, this, it's the dragon killer spell, it's a the dragon killer spell, unless it... Dodge! Okay, cool. We gotta run in. At least we got speed here still. Thank you, and I need to... Oh, please. And really? That didn't kill. I, I need to get behind it. I need to get behind this dragon, then. And it... Uh, well, it's dead now. Okay. And we got an ancient dragon smithing stone for our trouble. It... Honest to goodness... Given how much they move around, I might still be better off using Radon's Reign. Which, hmm, much to think about. Especially since using Radon's Reign would also only equip Short of Alexander for the prestigious x fine. Also, if it's piercing, it's a good chance I do a lot of counter damage, and also it just lets me stay farther away. Lion Gravo, how many Somber Stones do I have? Do you have one more Song Ranks and Dragon Smithing Stone? So I could level that. It, if it works, it works. I won't pretend it was the most impressive way to beat it. it certainly took a bit of cheese. Also, I might have mentioned this before to someone, but... I did find Dom's base. And I told someone else about its location so they could raid it. Because I'm not getting back on the server until Sunday. Because tomorrow I'm getting on Genshin to roll for... Emily, among other things. That's gonna be fun. I probably mentioned this before too, but Emily is supposed to work really, really well with Kinich, who's the new Dendro Claymore guy who fights like Sora from Kingdom Hearts in the second half of 4.0. So I'm excited because I have artifacts and talent books ready to just give her a good kit immediately. So I'd be able to hopefully take her up to a usable level, but the one thing is, is that until Kinich comes around, I'm not sure I have a team where I can really use her on all that well. We'll see what happens. Is there anything around this way? It is worth checking. There are also a lot of... There's skeletons in here. Or they're actually undead here in Farm Azula. This entire area is kind of like a retread of the very first dungeon, arguably. It's a lot like Stormvale. I think, actually, if I'm going to be through here, and I'm going to be fighting more dragons, I should be buffing up with Radon's Reign, and that does mean significant weight, so I wouldn't be able to have the helmet, but should be fine. I would want to be using, oh, Golden Lightning Fortification, but it'll be a bit until I can actually pick that thing up. Here we are, another plus 10 weapon. Cool. Let's go back to, and yep, this is where we are. This been here once before. I was able to see it from the Divine Tower where I leveled up Melania's stuff, but you can get there from three belfries to a tiny portion that just gives you a mediocre charm. I mean, mediocre talisman. Crumbling Beast Grave. Crumb crumbling Beast Grave. Depths. 
Okay. Oh, of course. Obviously. It... Whenever I talk about D&D, it is always assumed that I'm the DM. Because I am a control freak. Shamelessly. That sounds difficult. It's kind of a metaphysical concept, not a person. How would you even do that in a logistical sense? Okay, and we can slam you in before you recover. Hit you with a shield. Shield is actually made of cracked pottery. Interesting. So there are a bunch of worm faces around here too. I might want to equip some anti-death blight stuff. Oh, interesting. That... That doesn't sound particularly enjoyable, even. I... Whatever suits you, I guess. Oh, yeah, I... Like I said before, that honestly makes it worse. Or it would if being a control freak was bad. Because I'd like to say that I'm a pretty good DM. And I think that being a control freak is kind of necessary for the process. Hello. Okay, gravel stones, right, from dragons. Okay. So it's just impersonal. You're basically issuing a call for people in general. For someone to do it eventually. Okay, it makes sense. So what talisman is over there? It's a talisman, right? Because I'm pretty sure the Dragon Cult prayer book is down on the ground floor. Oh, so you're a... That's right. Right, we got someone with incantations here. Hello. And oh my goodness. Come on. Just keep slashing. Luckily, they're pretty easy to stagger. Exactly. Get someone to do your dirty work in. Just a great gra grave glove work. Okay, cool. I guess. That honestly was not worth it. I literally don't use those for anything. But over there, there was a ledge. It seems to lead to something. There's something on it, but... We can see the giant's forge. We can see... Ah, the earth tree's starting to burn. It hasn't taken fully. Once it fully burns, it'll be all red. So to get over there, to come around later. Interesting. But, honest to goodness, before I ran something new, maybe for viewers or other people, I'd feel like I wanted to finish the fake campaign first, because it was good, and it was entertaining. And quite frankly, it was more of an urban fantasy campaign with fate trappings than a fake campaign itself. It was, there were a lot of shenanigans. Someone got tased at a Home Depot. I expect as much. And can I... Interesting. Before we get hit again, we need... Actually, honestly, if there's a lot of lightning in here... Oh, but Bolt Drake plus two... It's gonna be in a bit. Can I... Can't equip any of this yet, so we'll just keep this there. It was! There was a group who... Basically, they went shopping to try to get hard hats to pass off a house they had ba an abandoned house that they had basically taken possession of as a construction site, as their sort of kayfabe. And while they were at the Home Depot, basically, one of the players, who she was actually one of the people whose bases I raided yesterday on the Minecraft server, she... Part of her story was she was hopelessly in love with her summoned servant. And so she interpreted anyone, basically any woman's interaction with that, him as severe jealousy. Well, as an intrusion and got very jealous. And so she got overly protective and threw a soda can at the head of a Home Depot employee. And since she was a player character and the Home DP employee was just an NPC, Ancient Dragon Cult never reached the lands between Red Lightning Incantations. Excuse me. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spirit and Lightning Strike. Interesting. She ended up tossing a soda can at the head of the Home Depot employee and just instantly knocking her out, causing the police to be called and the players to get tased. It was interesting. And so, a government connection, who is supposed to be their faction leader, kind of, because there are various NPC factions the players couldn't align themselves with. Oh, Somerstone Bell Bearing 4, okay. That's decent. Had to intervene and pick them up. 
and basically forced the meeting earlier than it otherwise would have been. Because they ended up choosing the stupidest option possible, which, quite frankly, I should have expected. It's life. Here we are, and oh, this is, okay, just a golden rune 12. The craziest thing is just Millennia's effective health, even not taking into account her healing, is twice as much as the two phases of the final boss combined. Literally nothing in this area is going to be half as bad as Millennia. It, that's what makes D&D &D so fun, is that, well, I'm actually not a control freak. Because one of the things with my campaign is, with the campaigns I run, is that I never railroad, really. You know, sometimes there are consequences to player actions, because NPCs will continue doing things off-screen and work towards their goals even though players are distracted. But I, I never really stop my players from doing anything. Yeah. I'm not a control freak, I just want to be in charge. I want to be the one steering the ship through the chaos. And it... It is a lot of fun. One time I did run... Oh... Uh, I tried running a sort of Cold War era campaign that was... Quote unquote Metal Gear inspired, as someone who has never played Metal Gear actually. I do need to play Metal Gear. It's going to happen eventually. It's part of it is that I own Metal Gear Rising, but I don't want to be one of those people who p plays and likes Metal Gear Rising but has never actually played the other ones. So I feel like I have to wait. Oh my goodness. I okay. Just gotta get that death light off. And okay, we're doing good damage here. I oh, okay. I oh, come on. Please. Just don't spit on me. Oh. Oh, goodness. It. Well, I don't like fast food. And one more hit. There we go. Cool. What, get happy from a Burger King ground? Well, as they say, make like Burger King and have it your way. It, for me, it's not even really about health. I just genuinely don't really enjoy junk food a lot of the time. I do enjoy a good burger, but only every now and then. It's really more just a matter of genuine preference. It is fun being over, able to lord it over people, but it's not exactly healthy, so... Either way, we can use Radon's Rain now. I think this is going to be better at taking the dragons out, actually, given how much they move around, and therefore... The distance is actually tough to deal with. Let's put this stuff on them. So the Urge Golden Vow... Flame Grant Me, and it should be right over here. Let's just try to not die when we platform here. Oh, goodness. Okay. You should be right over this way. And I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Hi, hello. Just get down here. Down here and around you. I think I hear somebody. Or really, really. There they are, which means... Okay, cool. And just shoot. Thanks. I oh, yep, it's really good damage. Especially when compared to Father. Uh, okay, I, okay, come on, can I run it? Oh my goodness. Okay, what? God damn. I. Huh. Okay. So actually, honestly, Flame Protect Me would be a better option. It's a good thing I have a lot of rune arcs. Or at least a decent amount. It... I honestly just was not expecting... Ah, yep, I always gotta focus on defense. So let's switch this out for... Flame Protect Me and get back to it. I... This is the life I live now. Mm. So then probably... Flame Drake plus two will actually... Bull Drake plus one while we get through here and then. Well, for one, let's put our Starlight back on. How many Radon Spears do I have? I've got 84 total in storage. Well, counting the ones in storage, I've got 84, so we're decent. I just, I gotta make it through here, and I don't want to have to fight all these guys. You know what? I'm not sure I know. I might. You'd have to tell me, though. What? Oh, Beastman's Curved Sword. So have a great sword. It... Dying from thirst, you mean? It... 
I saw someone say a little while ago that if if someone says that water doesn't have a flavor, it means that's your sign that they're really, really unhealthy. Which, that's probably true. Oh, but actually, stance tier. I do have stance tier up, and that could actually work pretty well. Now I can put fire, flame drake back on. What about the normal forest? Come on, aye, right, there we go, and oh, we hit the head successfully, that's nice. Ooh, we even got the stagger. Okay. Let's go over, reclaim my runes. Actually, maybe I should put a mind sacrificial twig just in case. If I fall too early. But, it takes a while for it to show up, so we can actually afford to buff, I think. Hmm. Jump. Jump. I can avoid that one. Oh, that was never bad. It. It would be worms, not ants. I was never infested with ants. It... You may not want to make that assumption, honestly. It's a dangerous one to make. Okay. Flame protect me, and... Can I... Put the bow back on. No bow. There we go. Cool. Alright, now we can spam. Spam the Ash of War. Maybe I should... Bring this back up. And there we go. Cool. Thank you, we got lots of fire resistance now, and oh, okay, cool, cool, and damage is not much, come on, oh, okay, interesting, and another one, oh, that poise, okay, can I, oh, please, come on, okay, and shoot up and can we, there we go, it's that easy, oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Do we get anything? We... We didn't get anything, but... We do get... Oh, just a smithing stone. Okay. It... That was nice. All we needed was just good defense. Curved sword, fortress, dual iron, wielded by the beastmen of form. This is heavy but well balanced, comparatively easy to wield for the damage it delivers. Okay. Let's put on our sword again. Yep. And keep moving. Some more worm faces over there, so... Will be interesting. Hmm. And... Ooh, okay, I... I don't know if having light load would even... Make it easier to... Get through some of that. Easier to jump. I'm not sure it does. Either way, we got some more... Resistance to death blight, so the various... Worm faces around here shouldn't be too horrible, but... Theory, if we get stance breaks on them, it shouldn't be too bad. This is... A relatively optional side area, so... We'll just see how this goes. Should definitely put on... Golden Vow, at least. How many more are around here? Is this... Okay, there is one here. Let's just... See if I can... Oh, well, I didn't manage to hit the head. That was... We didn't hit it at all. That's ridiculous. I right, okay. And... That was not a stance break either. Okay. Well, I... Okay. Interesting. But at least I don't really have to worry about getting death blinded. Fulgur balloon. Main thing is, if I manage to... Deal a nice jump attack that hits its face on the way down... Deal a lot of extra damage and... Hopefully help with the stance, too. So, can I... There we go. Nice. And... Cool. Thanks. There we go. Alright. And... Oh, they're... Dogs, because of course they are. Thank you. Luckily, they're not hard to take down. So, then... Behold the comfort. How many... Oh, my goodness. Multiple worm faces, because of course... I guess my question is... Okay, I don't think I could actually... Maybe this one I could... Got a good running start. I could land with it. There we go. We actually managed to get the hit on the head. Cool. Thank you. Sneak up. I could probably get a attack on the head like this. Well, that didn't hit anything at all. I... Okay. For a second, I thought that might knock me off the edge, which would be a very funny way to die. Realistic? I heard that they were making a kind of Animal Crossing type game. 
that Aster Weave Haven run. But to me, it's just sort of a... What kind of audience do they expect to have? It... You know, it's definitely smart that they're trying to presumably reach out to a different audience. Probably reached a bit of saturation with the one they currently have, but it's kind of a question of would other new audiences be receptive to what they make in the first place, regardless of style. But I wonder if you're talking about the Animal Crossing like that I heard about. Maybe. Well, there's a big old worm face around there. Probably buff up pretty heavily before we take it on. Hmm hmm. But the big thing I'm excited for is just seeing how Movika ends up playing. Because she's gonna be her their ideas for her right now are so complicated that she's not going to be coming out until 5.3, probably. But they already have tests for her mechanics in-game. That's how deep they are in. And there we go, cool. But, apparently, there's some cue for quote-unquote riding, which people think is going to be a motorbike. It... I think I might have heard about that. I know that there was some celebrity who played Elden Ring and literally paid for someone to farm runes for him so he could start out at max level, which... You know, if you want to do something like that, you don't have to pay for that. I'm sure he could have convinced a fan to do it for him, too. But... It... I think it might have been. You could maybe see that, but I think it might have been him, which is funny, considering... The whole RKO thing. I just remember many years ago when the RKO out of nowhere meme was big. Well, not everyone, especially busy people. Like I said, he probably could have gotten it done for him for free by a fan if he just asked, but to be fair, that would have taken time. And time is what he doesn't have in the first place. You know, when you get to that point in life where you make that much money, it's just constantly a question of, are you going to trade off money or trade off time? You know, are you going to use money to compensate for not having time? Thanks. So, ooh, interesting. And, oh, tough, tough. Come on. What is... There we go, and... That did not hit. Okay. Huh. And... That didn't stance break either. Okay, that's what I thought. But just... Back when the arc out of nowhere meme was big, I actually had this funny childish dislike of him, because I was just... Why would he be so mean? That kid was just playing on the playground. Why did he come in and just grab the kid and throw him off the play structure? You know, I knew it was... I knew it was just a joke, and that the kid fell off and they added Randy to the video doing his move. Just as a joke. Yeah, but... It... All I could think was is, you know, even if it's a meme, if people were making this about him, it probably reflects on his character. And they probably wouldn't make a meme like that about a guy who wasn't the type to, you know, throw children off of playground equipment. At least that's what I thought. I don't know. Wait, no, now, now I'm the heel. Now I'm the heel. Now I'm the bad guy. So. And I think, honestly, go for Black Flame's protection anyway. Should be fine. Yeah, exactly. A giant worm face over there. Oh, goodness. That's tough. Like your cat? Or... Come on. Okay, interesting. Dead. And who was that? Interesting. We need to stay away. Oh, my... Okay, all right. I... Oh, okay. I... Oh, my goodness. I... How am I so death blighted? That's not good. We need boluses. Let's take that. But I did not expect that. Oh, come on. I just... This giant worm face is actually ridiculous. That's funny. Okay, I... We got a stance break on this guy. We can... Dodge. Okay, cool. I... Oh, my goodness. I... 
There we go, we got the stance break, which means critical. Big guy, Matt Riddle. Like the guy from Batman. Uh, nothing dropped at all. Okay. What should we need for a level? It, it's not all that much. Okay. Oh, rejuvenating bullets is right there. RK bro. That's funny. So did he get redemption by becoming friends with him or redemption by fighting him? Okay, so this is... Is this... What bell bearing is this? Ah, uh, glove work picker's bell bearing. The ghost glove work bell bearing was in... Right, that was in... Halo Tree. Got the stuff over here, so now I can... Go back this way. So we've done this part over here then. I don't think you ever go over this way. We're about... Probably a third done. Oh, uh, so just... Kind of a... Large, friendly dog. Large, stupid, friendly dog. Nice. It... Okay, what that tells me is... I need to find someone to be the golden retriever to my black cat. Because as of right now, Dom and I are just two cats. You know, if, if Jack was on more often... And frankly, if Jack didn't hate streaming... Hate being on stream... I would... Well, hate having to schedule things. That's the thing. He would be the obvious choice, but... Not right now. Not yet. Level up, and... Only five more levels, and I could get strength to 35 at base, so I wouldn't have to... Have the Star Scourge Airworm to use Giant Crusher. Hmm. Strength is, I guess... Dexterity is still a little better, but strength is on everything right now. Hmm. Oh, I could have put in faith, because... I should want to put... Sacred Blade on the Giant Crusher. Yeah, there we go. It's sacred on that. Okay. Well, not really expect... Oh, that's cute. It's actually cute. Finally, Randy Orton does something not terrible. But, not not ask anyone, but just find someone, you know? If, you know, I could get someone to do it by acting, but it'd be more natural and more interesting if it was just someone who could do it naturally. It, you know, this might be too private of a question, but are there, are there Fujoshi for wrestling? Are there Yaoi ships for wrestling? Maybe I don't want to know the answer to that question. You know, maybe you shouldn't tell me that, actually. I feel like... I, I feel like the, the result would probably just hurt me a little. No matter what it was. So yeah, just... Relax. You don't need to tell me. So we need... Oh, we need to... Whoa, where are some of this? Ironic Fujoshi. That is... Interesting. I... Would not even think that would be possible. But, you know... Every day, every day new surprises come. And this is really, really nice. Just absolutely crushing these Beastman skeletons. When I went here with the mage build, I didn't have any way to... Anything that was specifically undead effective, which makes sense, because it was a pure magic build, so... I had to hit them one time after I killed them. It... There was that thing with... I think I showed it to some people. That whole deal with... And that joke about possible... British football style chance for F1 drivers. And there was that really crude one for Verstappen. It... Well, it's... They probably think it's a lie, right? I, I read an article recently about... Oh, some drama with Adam Driver's fan base about their people who think he cheated on his wife with Daisy Ridley, a.k.a. Ray, and that his marriage is not really real anymore, which is, you know, on one hand, it's just kind of, you know, do what you want, but on the other hand, when it starts involving real people and real people's lives, it's... Well, I think the big thing is just that 
I mean, I never said it was common. I have no illusion that's a common thing, but... It's one thing to just do it for fun. It's another thing to be serious about it when the person involved has explicitly asked you to stop. Yeah, it's... It's one thing if people play into it, another if it's just explicitly something unwanted. Oh my goodness, I thought that would have... Fire-breathing skeleton? Fire-breathing skeleton. That... You know, I've literally been here before. I just forgot. Yeah, but... It was. I was not expecting to see that come. Oh my goodness. You want to be a fire-breathing skeleton? It... That actually doesn't surprise me all that much. I... Oh, come on. And that was... Good damage on that charge attack. Yeah, there were a lot of people who... A decent amount of people who... Oh, okay. That goes down there. There are some one-shot builds in Elden Ring that are about, you know... Killing things in one hit. And most of them use... The charge attack on that, which looks very similar to Lion's Claw. You know, if... That's how you want to do things, I guess that's how you want to do things. Suit yourself. Okay, so to get down into that... Pit... There's also that over there. I think I should be able to get the lightning item relatively soon. Maybe. Let's see what's in that pit. Special lightning defense incantation. But this is... Oh, right. Godskins are here. Godskins are around here, which means my silly plan to cheese godskins has to... It's going to have to materialize soon. So that means... Okay, dragon temple. And the dagger I want to put... Assassin's Gambit. Yeah, that should work. I'm not going to use it as an actual weapon, so... Main thing is, I'm going to have to put the Godskins asleep. So this would allow me to get down to that part. See whatever items are there. Let's just jump for it. Thank you, and there we go. Oh, that... There is also more down there. Oh. Okay. Huh. Red threw up pink. Thank you, I'm glad you liked it. I... I really do worry about you sometimes. Not just sometimes, honestly. And can I... Oh my... Ooh, that hit. Oh, come on. I, okay, I, What? Please. Oh, oh... I did not expect it to be that bad. Well, I should have put in Golden Val then. Well, it, in theory, I should get another rune arc by the time that happens. Maybe. I know there's one rune arc in here. It... Life is painful sometimes. Life really is painful sometimes, but... If you told me you were some sort of alien, honestly, I'd believe you. You know, I'm sad for me, too. Okay. Either way, well, we got stuff in here, so let's just make that jump again. If you told me you were some sort of alien, I would believe you. Feels like you must have some sort of inhuman anatomy. Oh, hello. There we are, and the big one is over there. Hello, I charge and miss. Okay, you can miss. Well, there we go. Good damage. Golden Room 12. Yeah, but that specific attack is used for... Most one-shot builds use a special attack, a special skill called the Royal Knight's Resolve that vastly increases the damage of one falling attack, but only one, and just making this one jumping swing, one somersault swing, as strong as you possibly can. So that up there, what does that lead to? It... I want to see what's around here before I actually go back to where Godskins are. Okay, so this is that hole. They don't see me right now. It, I feel... After a certain point, I feel like you have to consider luck to be an anatomical feature. You know what I'm saying? You know, if luck can be an attribute in a video game, you can consider it to be part of you, I think. You have to... Your, your luck score is part of you. Okay. But, like I said before, forgot about fantasy life stats, but the fact that it's just a D&D, &D, but instead of charisma, they just have a luck. 
Right, right, yeah. Full stress build in Fantasy Life. Here we go, let's charge that up. Thank you, enjoy death. There is something there that has a legendary glow to it. Wonder what that is. Oh, hi there. What I should do is, yep, hit them with this special holy damage projectile from up top. And oh, they're they're not making their items collectible. That sword I should already have. So, oh, okay, just a great grave glove ward. Okay, cool, fine, I guess. Let's go down here and see what else there is. And the answer is nothing. Okay. Cool, I guess. Uh, down here from Dragon Temple. There was something down there, too. Right, right, because it's... It's Mercenary, Paladin, Hunter, and Mage. So in that case, is it strength for both Mercenary and... Strength is just better, I guess, because it's for both Paladin and Mercenary. Jack really liked running Mercenary. And what's really, really funny is that a lot of people we know... Okay, well... Interesting. Should be fine, though. See so what happens when we get down here. Well, Mage is interesting. It's pretty fun. But the big thing about it is... Jack used to play Mercenary, the one with the Greatsword... And when he would play Final Fantasy, actually, he would use the names of the various things, the various attacks as his names. And, well, for one, actually, we need to make sure we have the right spells for this fight. So, Golden Vow. Any other spells I could use right now? They clear out a lot of my inventory to make sure that I only have... Stuff I need. Hero of Golden, no. Can protect me, no. How of Shabriri, yes. That'll boost that too. And then instead of that, well, I guess we could keep that on there. Terra Magica. And then... Comet Azure. Which I'm going to need a lot to be able to even use, but... Should be good. How many sleep pots do I have? Sleep pot, albinoric pot. Sleep pot in cracked pots. I have two held. Let's make a couple more just in case. Okay, but before any of that, there are a bunch of knights that I got to take down in here. So, golden dust cheap, we may as well use it. So, hi there, hello. And stab it. There we are. These guys were absolute torment with my mage build. They were a joke now. Oh, that he when he was playing Final Fantasy with friends, he would use the names of the Fantasy Life Mercenary special attacks as things to call out. And a lot of people didn't know what was going on, so they didn't realize it. And one time he brought that up. I said, oh yeah, the ones from Fantasy Life. And they were just thinking, you were calling out things from Fantasy Life? It was rather funny. Oh, but that's right, I need to... That's right. I need to put away most of my items because... The goal right now is... I could use... Well, first I should get a katana with seppuku on it. So, Ashes of War. Let's take out the Uchi, maybe. Got to buff up very, very heavily for this. Strip my chest. Melee armaments will take the Uchi out. And there. Use it to buff myself. Well, actually, to trigger Blood Wash, reward a Blood's Exaltation. Not for the actual buff from it itself. We're going to have to do a lot of switching. Strip my chest. Just put away everything I don't need right now. Where to calling? Don't need that. Don't need that. Let's make sure I can switch in time, mostly. Shouldn't be all that bad. It's a very, very fun game. Pesculave can go. Guess that can stay. Ashes of War on the... Uchi we put on Seppuku. 
It is a very good game. Then in the chest, we need to put away most of my headgear. So the chest, helmets. Because I need mushroom crown. The white mask. Put away a lot of talismans too. So kindred of rot's exultation and... What a blood's exultation. I'm basically doing a buff stack setup to try to kill... Those enemies in one single blast, basically. Twin Sage, huge intelligence boost. I'll need that. It's almost all this goes away right now. Just need to be able to cast the thing. Oh, oh, so... Both of you have hacked 3DSs. Okay. There's my surgeons, okay. Surgeon's Mask, White Mask, Raises Attack Power, and Water Loss Nearby. This is just pure buff stacking. Pure buff stacking. Well, I'm aware. I just wasn't aware that she was in a similar situation to you. Alright. And this should be good for now. We don't even really need any of the others, but... We're buff stacking, this is going to be the way to go. But to inflict myself poison... Best would be a raw meat dumpling. Well, it... If I blindly assumed that every Italian was poor, you would get mad at me, and rightfully so. Oh, well then, I... One... And... Cool, cool, and... Can I... Oh, well, that storm all hit me, but not the rest of it. Interesting. Banish that Talbert. Maybe I didn't need that. Maybe. Hmm. Assassin's Gambit and the Staves. Much to think about. Just gotta take these guys down and kill the godskins in there. Uh, well, to be fair, I... Honestly, I should equip Stars of Ruin on there too in case things go south. And I don't kill them in one combat du jour. Gotta be smart about this and we can put on Stars of Ruin. Oh, that's only one slot actually. You fight to pay for other people's stuff. As opposed to paying to fight for other people's stuff. Okay, cool. And can I... There we... Oh, well, alright. Okay. Interesting. That was not great. Did not expect the fire breath. Those guys... All these guys are dragging communion, which is... Because, as something suggests, dragging communion was actually invented by the ancient dragon to... Hunt down the lesser dragons for them. Thank you. And we can knock you down and get this. Cool. Oh, but I I don't have the right tier. That's right. Huh. Cause for this specifically I need and want. Wondrous physics should just need. Magic shrouding and no, it's Intelligence, not, and Cerulean Hidden Tier. Just infinite beam. As long as it lasts. And right now, with the Twin Sage Crown, that takes me to 44. And then even with that, I need the tier and then two talismans to have enough intelligence to even use the spell. It's definitely a gimmicky strategy. That's exactly why it's going to be so fun. Okay. Let's do this. Thank you. Thank you. And oh my... Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. What? What the... Okay. I just... I was not expecting it to be that bad. But... Ashes of War for the Stagger. Main thing is just getting a clear shot around the arena. But if I use Assassin's Gambit, I can pretty easily... Oh my goodness. I, okay. Can I? Stop again. Probably heal up before the fight, just in case. I need a lot of talismans to make use of. Oh, but... This is such a complicated strategy setup. I need to put away most of my talismans, too. That's right. So... In the chest... Second. Talisman's in the chest. 
put away pretty much everything other than Word of Blood's Exaltation. America's Sore Seal. Stargazer Heirloom. I think beyond what I need to get there. And then the Exaltation ones. Word of Blood's Exaltation and Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. And that... Mm, don't think I can have that equipped all that well. Canvas, Flock, Promo, Glintstone, Blade. Uh, Look, Stella, Radagon, Icon, do nothing for me. Karian, Godfrey, Volgo, and... Magic one is interesting, maybe. The question is just... What I'd be running. So, actually... Ritual Sword Talisman is... Oh, but I wouldn't really have that because I'd be taking damage from the poison. It. Kindred of Rot, Word of Blood, no Taker's Cameo. No Silver Scarab. But. Kindred of Rot, Word of Blood's Exaltation while I buff, then I switch to... Two Seals, and then probably Graven Mass and Magic Scorpion. That should be fine. Vile, Concealing Veil, don't need to be there. I guess I could keep the Twigs on just in case. So now we should have everything I need to actually take Godskins down. Hopefully. I... Uh, it's a tough fight. I... okay, and... okay. Especially if you... oh, okay. Okay, and... oh, come on, I... alright. And you didn't stagger up. Okay. Um, what? What? I, okay. Heal. And, uh, that was very, very foolish of me. I, oh, come on. I, can I heal? Rest. Okay. That was embarrassing. I'd say maybe some way to take them down with magic would be good, but it's just... I need to get inside here first. Get through before that happens. And... Just cannot. There we go. We got that break. We have two more of these banished nuts along the way. If I'm lucky, I could even gather armor as a drop. I do have some pretty cool armor, but given that I've got enough stamina to wear heavy things most of the time, it shouldn't be a huge problem. God's can stitch is so fun. It's just heavy thrusting swords are good. This is the highest. Well, be for sword lance is going to be in DLC. That one is good too, but it depends. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got an item. Okay, but... Banish Knight Greaves. Oh, but in theory you could literally jump straight down into the God's Good Fight. It'd be quite stupid, though. Hmm. Well, okay. Any more around here, or... Some over that way, but they don't... Oh, they do see me. I think. Well, they unsheathe their sword, but... It unsheathed its sword, but that's all. Don't hear it coming. We should be fine. So. Oh, Recusant Bernal did that quest line and. Okay, so put on Occult Dagger, Assassin's Gambit, then the Blood Uchi should be good. Main thing is, I need to get them lined up. See how well this works. Medium load, and actually, Seppuku and Kindred of Rot. Let me see. Mushroom Crown. Which one should I do first? Mushroom Crown takes 20 seconds, which isn't crazy. White Mask. It's also 20 seconds. It's both 20 seconds, but Seppuku takes some time, whereas... When I proc poison on myself, I'm just going to be using this raw meat dumpling. Which, that's the big thing it's useful for. Or I could use poison pots to do it, but that is silly. Let's find that dumpling. Where is it? Okay, right here. We only have... Oh, you can only hold that many at once, because it's technically a healing item that they wanted to limit. Let's put on what we need, then. I... Keep this equipped, but... Stargazer Air Room. I'll take this off for now, actually. Stargazer Air Room, Merica's. Then we'll boost. Have these equipped so we can switch them out and 
They're relatively close to the ones I'm going to need to switch them to. It's all about getting the buff routine done at the right time. Hmm. But, some... White Mass first. Then Mushroom Crown. Luckily they're close. And then we switch to Twin Sage. I just, I wonder how well I'm actually going to be able to manage all this. Oh, and then right, for the actual casting, we use Wasatz Glintstone Staff, which right now is our, going to be our highest sorcery scaling option. Even though I technically can't use it right now. Technically. Intelligence not in Twin Sage. Well, actually, if we put on Twin Sage, we could see what its adjust is at, which is 291. Should be good. Hopefully. Still at medium load, but right, we put on Mushroom Crown, and right, we want some sleep pots in here. So if you lob a sleep pot over at them, they'll go to it together and line themselves up pretty well in theory. Get that. And this should be good. Don't need to pop the Physic Flask until right before we start the beam. That's what Cerulean Hidden Tier is going to take effect, so... Assassin's Gambit! There we go, and once the god teams show up, we should be able to go to the end of the arena and... Oh wait, is this? Are they not spawned in yet? Not spawned in yet. Interesting. Oh right, because actually what I should do then is quit out first so that I respawn outside the arena. And then, and then, I can easily just lob the pot in. Because now that it's got a golden fog wall, They'll spawn in as soon as we get in there. Okay. Let's make this happen. Main thing is, if I deal damage fast enough, I can hit them while they're dying for even more damage. Okay, so Assassin's Gambit. We traverse the mist. Can't do this while we're crouched, though, and... Can I? Crouch immediately, and... Oh, what do you know? They don't know I'm here. That means is if we lob a sleep pot somewhere, we can lob it way high. And there we go. Both of them will investigate the situation and go to sleep. Awesome. Or not. I guess. Come on. And I... Oh, well, we messed that one up. Okay. Let's try that again. The idea is just... Maybe mid section. Main thing is the sleep doesn't last all that long. If I alert them, it'll be easier for them to see me. This is how I gotta do it. I gotta sleep them, because I'll sleep a while. Wind them up, start my buff routine, but I need to cast the spells, including Terra Magic, before something like Oh, using the actual other buffs, and especially Half Shibariri. For how Shibariri, it's going to overt them, which is going to be annoying. Well, it would damage them, which would wake them up, depending on their distance. So, thank you. And will this go ahead, get slapped, and... Oh, what do you know? It wasn't close enough to that one, though. And is this going to do it? That... Oh, never mind. That was painful. Which means, I think, I need to throw it closer to... Let's throw it midsection. Throw it to... Skinny. Okay. But if this cheese works... This cheese works, it's gonna be hilarious. It... The funny part is, I could definitely fight them relatively easily fair. Just don't wanna. They are also annoying, so... But I'm getting that FP back. Oh, it's because we consume it or it's after we go in. But the items are not. Got lots of Trina's lilies. We can just make a bunch of these. Exactly. You know how I think. Oh, because that consumes health, right? Okay. Cool. Go around a mid lane and can't see me. Throw it up this way far up as we can and arc that. Cool, and this should do it. 
Good one, get slapped. And... Not quite. Thanks. And can I... Let's go in, get slapped, and now we can buff up. There we are, cool. Which means... Okay. Terra, Terra Magica, Terra Magica. This is lined up very, very well. Golden Vow. And... How Shabriri far away from them. And then... Rummy Dumpling. And... Seppuku. And we switch our talismans off as quickly as we can. And Graven Mass, and that. Then we use our tier. And just blast this up. Wait, what? Can I? Wait, did I? Huh? What's wrong? Is intelligence not but Oh, because we need Twin Sage. That's right, I need. I screwed this up badly. I forgot to... Okay. Well, it... I figured out the one thing I messed up. We can do it this time. I hope. Well, the issue is I don't have the flask now. So I need to go back through and kill those knights. Oh. Actually... I could just jump down into the arena. But see the flask gone right now. If I just run through into the fight after putting on Assassin's Gambit, I think I'm fine. That was painful. Forgetting that. Also because I forgot to change out the hat, too. We were so close to greatness, but I literally forgot what I was doing. Okay. What's well, Assassin's Gambit? We got our sleep pots. Oh, they're... Oh, right, we can go in through here, right? No, probably not. And this is not a wall you can actually go through after the first time. Okay. Just run it. Okay. And it's no damage, but that's there. Okay. Try to get me, but good and fast. Okay. Let's do this. It. Thank you. I appreciate it. So the skinny guy seems to be more observant. We throw towards him first. Thank you, and... Toss another up here. Just in case. Propagate that sleep mist. And... There we are. Cool. Let's get this started. Let's get this party started. Golden Vow, and... Oh, well, right. Golden Vow. Huh? Golden Vow. How Shabriri. And let's just put this down here. Thank you. Right, we need to re-equip the right. Talismans, that's right. I forgot that part. Okay, and we should be fine though. I, okay. Let's eat the dumpling. And switch this out for the mask. Then we seppuku. And then we switch all these out for the crown. And... Crown and... Switch these out. Thank you. And... Buff stacking unbeatable. Thank you. We consume this, and... Okay, Comet du Jour. Uh, okay, cool. And, well, we don't have Terra Magica there. And, is this... Oh, oh, well, we were almost there. Almost. Okay, so it works in theory. The main issue is... We aimed for the wrong guy. Because... I needed to be hitting the skinny guy first, because that was a little off base. And aiming for the fat guy made me miss the skinny guy. Okay. But it actually kind of worked. We got 70% of 75% of the whole health bar down in that single burst. For reference, normally. Killing each of those godskins takes down normally about a little under half. A little under a quarter of the shared health bar. So in theory you need to kill four of any of those godskins to win the fight. Okay, well, alright. Get my gambit up after healing. Okay. It... We're, we're doing okay for ourselves. You know, the strategy is getting improved. We know what we're doing now. Dodge... Dodge, and 
come on. Better run past. Go down there. Okay. We're we're doing well for ourselves. Kinda. Okay. Use Assassin's Gambit again. And honestly, since I use the first couple of spells, I should try to regen health. Okay. Let's toss these up. I don't think I'm trying to convince anyone. I'm just trying to be happy here. Thank you. And, oh, well, we... Uh, well, I... All right. Thanks. I, cool. Oh, that did not work out. Well, it... That work, That might work okay. Let's just use a couple of... Uh, buffs. Thank you. Thank you. How Shabriri. Then we switch to these. Raw meat dumpling. Then we switch to this one. And... We Seppuku. We switch back. I put these up. I put down Terra Magica and put this down. Cool. And take this. Chug this flask and here we go. After, well, putting this one on and Comme du Jour. Fun. And will this hit? Hit both of them and oh, that didn't work well at all. That actually really sucked. So what I need to do, they need to be grouped up. They need to be seriously grouped up. It, I need to use Comet Azure for something. It's the best purely, strongest, well, most expensive purely offensive spell. But, and it makes sense, but I need to have them right there okay switch back to the other talismans it wouldn't be too hard to fight godskins legitimately at this point but i just we have access to a funny way of doing things and i want to do things the funny way okay so do that and come on i dodge thank you it is funny that there's that fog wall over there that you literally can't go through it's just there for fun. Okay. It's funny that Assassin's Gambit costs a very nominal but still excellent amount of HP. Okay. Do it like this. Do it like this. Just toss these pots. Okay. Should be good, but we need to make sure that they're basically right next to each other. That's the thing. So if I don't, we're going to have some serious problems. Thank you. I, oh, well, all right. I, no, no, no. Thank you. And will this do it? Yep, this does it. We should be fine now. Okay. Golden Vow. Half Shabriri. Should hit both of them, I think. Now we can get to our other buff routine. Thank you. We switch to the mask. Then we Seppuku. Put it down. Terra Magica right by them. Switch our talismans real fast. Should have done that before, probably. And then we use this. Put on Twin Sage Quintstone Crown. Switch to the... There we, oh, right. We come to Jour. I, right, we need this. We need that. And can I... There we go. You should be fine now. And multiple... And, I, wait, what? Huh? Never mind. I hate my stupid chunk of slime. One more try. I, I just put Terra Magica down in the complete wrong place. It, that was actually perfect because it was basically on the stair steps. And aiming for small guy would definitely hit the bigger one, but I... This... This is more of a positioning puzzle than anything else. It... I hope I don't run out of raw meat dumplings. That would be really stupid. It... Better men than me have taken longer to set up one shots. It's okay. <sighs> okay. Put on the attack boost ones again. Thank you. I just not my own personal standards I've set for myself. Thank you. I'm glad someone does. 
So we go over, we run past this guy. We got the Assassin's Gambit. It. What, me? Yeah, but even with crappy stats, just. Temporary boosts allow me to approximate an actual character. I don't need Blessing of the Virtue on here. I honestly shouldn't have it on here. Oh well. It shouldn't make the biggest difference. Let's toss the sleep pots over up here. We aim as high as we can. Toss another once they're still moving. Thank you, and there we are! That's basically perfect. Awesome! And how Shabriri. They're just pretty much perfectly lined up. Raw meat dumpling. Switch out for a seppuku. There we go. Switch all these out. For Twin Sage and the Talisman to boost my strength. I mean my magic. And then we put down to our magic right here. Take this up. We switch. Two comma to draw, drink this, and this should be good. Hello. And boom! Big damage, and... Oh, we did it? They're all dead. Nice. Okay, cool. That means... Okay. Let's take this. <laughs> there we go. Ashenboard Black Flame Tornado and the Somersoon Bell Bearing. If it works, it works. Okay. Now for the rest of this place. It, I kind of wish I should have used the Foulfoot instead of equipping the Talisman. Now, either way, it still wouldn't have been much more than one level, but still. All right then, let's put on actual stuff. Just what I usually have equipped. And it, it's not much different from what I usually have, so keep this. It's what I usually need, so. Right, right, and full goat, and more bull goat. It, if it works, it works. It is definitely an interesting way to do things. Took a while to get the gimmick lined up, but once it was, the fight was over in no time at all. I like that. Oh, but I should change out my my spells, right? Because this was a gimmick set. Put on everything defensive I have access to right now. Would be black frames protection is okay. Then flame protect me and Lord's divine fortification because we still don't have access to divine lightning fortification. Then just a few spells to actually attack things with. Lightning Spear should be okay. It's one thing I think I'm missing. I don't know why. Lightning Spear. Okay. This. Oh, right. Barrier of Gold. Barrier of Gold. Right. That said, very few things that actually deal magic damage. Whatever. And I guess Black Flame can go on here. Sure. And then Starlight. This is an okay-ish lineup to have, generally speaking. It's... You have to be willing to be a bit silly with it. That's what I'll say. But in the end, it worked very, very well for me. So now we got some of this. Hello, Banish Knight. Oh well. Thanks, I... Oh, okay. And, uh, thank you, and can I... And, oh, all right. At least Impaling Thrust is good damage, even if the shield will block stance damage. We can just explore the stuff around here, then. Just a number of other knights following me. Well, alright. Alright, then. Come on, and... There we go, we got the stagger, even if that hit me to it. That black flame tornado, spin arm in overhead, plunge to the ground, raging vortex of black flames, initial flame tornado while spinning, hold porms and twin blades, and it's an interesting one. I wouldn't call it necessarily good, but it's one of the few black flame things you can have access to 
without really using spells. Which means that since it's fire flame art at base, you actually use it with pure strength with the fire affinity. Or just any other, but really for anything fire associated, you probably want either the flame art affinity, which is faith, or fire affinity, which is strength. So if you really want black flame, you can get access to it using Oh, and the shield didn't protect it. Using that weapon weapon art, that Ash of War, if it interests you. Okay, so here we are. This is going to lead to more stuff eventually, but... One! Two! Even your jeweled great swords couldn't protect you. How sad. That over there is going to be the area boss's arena. Stone sword key, but I don't think I even need stone sword keys for anything at this point. Alright. You're over here in that. Hello, Banished Knight. I. I. Dodge, dodge. Okay. That was narrow, and can I. There we are. You're probably going to use a Dragon Communion Incantation. If I hadn't killed you that quick. Okay. Well, actually. Dragon Wound Grease. Oh, I think you just dropped down here, but. Dragon Wound Grease isn't even really useful for me anymore. The one thing I can maybe use it for would be the farm Azula dragons, but they're not difficult enough to really justify that. It... The big thing is that the sort of side boss of this area, Dragon Lord Placidius Axe, well also, the fact that the Godskin duo is there is probably because farm Azula is where the Rune of Death is sealed. Which is probably why Melina has the ability to send you there. At least if she is, in fact, the Glomod Queen, which I am a Melina Glomod Queen truther. But, as I was saying, presumably they're here in order to try to... There we go, before we even got the shield out. Claim the Rune of Death, because the Godskins explicitly formally had the power to slay gods using their Black Flame. But when the Rune of Death was plucked out of the Elden Ring by Merica in order to make her kids immortal and given to Malekith, it lost the ability to slay gods. And that, that's explicitly what the Black Flame spell says, which is interesting. But as I was saying, it's probably why they're here, because otherwise it doesn't honestly make all that much sense for them to be here. And I got, okay, all right. Not expecting that, and can I, I... Oh, interesting. That went completely above me. That's funny. Oh, that's a fun storm attack. I, there we go. Well, you're dead at least. Let's put on Blessing again. Okay. But this entire area is a legacy dungeon, so you don't get any kind of health restoration from killing things. It's kind of sad. Just a little. Over here is... Okay, we got an item in that. So, Golden Rune. I know that around here somewhere is the Drake Knight set, which is only ever seen on Eleonora, who's an invader, part of the Hero's questline. But also, that's right, I should go over and talk to Shabriri before I forget, now that I've become Lord of Frenzied Flame. I think he disappears and gives you your set after that, but I'm not quite sure. The main thing is, if I jump down here, I can get to the other part, too. So it's down here. Hello. And that, this over here. Took a bit of a shortcut, but that does not want to get past the godskins, presumably, because that would make them skippable, and I know they aren't. Thank you. Another critical. Good stuff. And you over there are. Oh, just a rune arc. Good. That is very, very good. So I didn't have a spare one. Okay. So then, keep on going. What else is around here? It might lead to, well this is, the Dragon Temple Altar. But of course the Godskins don't really have anything to do with dragons, just the Rune of Death. Leads up to, oh hello there. So is this going to lead around to something I couldn't otherwise reach, or... 
Hmm. I know that Drake Knight set should be in here somewhere. But. Hmm. Maybe here. Should be something. Maybe. Start that up. Then. This might actually lead around to. Next spot. It is interesting that after Sekiro had its rather bespoke stealth mechanics, Elden Ring went back to... Oh, interesting. I was not expecting that. Hello. Thanks. That oh, that did not hit anything. Okay. I All right. Interesting. Including just sound actually alerting enemies, as in... If you hit sort of physics objects and they made noise, they would actually put enemies on alert. It... Oh, Banished Knight Greatsword didn't have that already. Found a graphic greatsword, ancient engraved with an ancient motif, probably from Missoula, maybe. Scorcher Mystique, forced to abandon home. A new with only despair for company. And that's maybe a gravel stone? Oh, the Azula Beastman ashes. Beastman from Dune Farm, Azula, slowly crumbling ruins in the skies. Ruins are said to be the remains of a giant Muslim enshrining an ancient dragon, probably with Pasitis Axe, guarded by chosen beastmen who wield weapons clad in lightning. Alright, cool. Oh, so that drops down there, so... The only way to get here, presumably, would be to... Take that drop down, which is otherwise pretty hard to spot. Interesting. Okay. So I don't think I actually got here on my mage build, then. Because I don't think I took that specific drop down. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? That over there is going to be... Next spot to go to. Yep, just over here. Can't get up that, but can go down here. Hopefully we can loop around and find what's next. Should be some beastmen in that. What is this? Hello? This reminds me of Arch Dragon Peaks. Dragon Temple Transept? Oh, really? Oh, okay, so that... Huh. So in that case... Where was I supposed to go after that? This is clearly... One way there. Oh, but that's... If you go that way, you can have a quicker route to the fight. The issue is that it puts you closer, which means that you cannot actually... That's cool. Yeah, it puts you closer, which means you can't sneak up on them and... Sleep them like I did, which was... Pretty fun. Yeah, this is sort of the way out through there and that's transepts over there and this is what is this well okay so there are beastmen down there lots of okay i think i was here maybe i was i there was some sort of spiral not spiral but curving staircase that I saw before that I could have dropped down onto. Uh, interesting. Okay. Huh. I'm just gonna keep on moving. I'll search to see. Not that transept, but maybe over this way. So this then. If this was something I could have dropped down onto. Okay, and this is another golden rune. That area by the transept then is... The only real falling path. Whew. That goes around there. Yep, I already went through there. So actually, in that case, I may as well go from the altar and then continue on. And I think... Should be fine with the sword right now. Yeah. Over. This way will lead to the next part I need to go to. Fun. Hello, hello. There's that big courtyard over here, and this entire set of buildings was something I could not access from up top over there. Oh, and someone is hitting me. Awesome. Just what I like to see. Okay. There are lots of guys who are going to try to gank me over here, so... Let's make sure that doesn't happen. In theory, I could use Lightning Raz, but... I don't think that'll really be all that necessary, actually, because I don't think there are a lot of clerics around here. I see I have some lightning on the weapon, but that's about it. I, oh, okay, and 
jump or not. I oh well, that bite didn't do any lightning damage. Good for me. Uh, for here, there was one who was throwing knives at me. That might have been the one I killed. Hmm. Let's continue on our merry way. Send me down over this way and. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hi. Right, and we can sprint, sneak. Some guys up that way, interestingly enough. Here, there are some more, but. Place to see them, though, that's my question. How I'm going to spot them. We're over there, and we have to go around that way. Great. Okay. Slash. Slash. At least it's not that bad. Okay, and dodge. Dodge. And can I slam? Well, not if I miss. Okay. Thank you. One. Ooh, okay, I'll ride it. One. Ooh, okay. Two. Interesting. I saw my health. Do no longer have my health replenishing. Let's put Blessing the Urchery back on then. It's an okay ish spell. Not amazing, not terrible. Some old things to the beast stuff. Now, people don't know for sure if the beast king is Sarosh, Godfrey's tiger, or something else. I, oh, we can. Can we jump that? I think we can jump that. I can jump that. And that's Heroes Rune 5. Okay. Let's. Yeah, we can jump pretty far. Okay. Let's get down over here and see what else there is to see. This is not a good idea. Nothing to be gained from this. Could theoretically use it to skip that portion with lightning throwing knife guy, but it's not honestly hard enough to justify that. Okay. I think should be another side of the race around here, which would be good, because I think there's also the final crucible knight around here too. I think. Okay, and we should probably replenish a bit also because we need light again. Thank you. But honest to goodness, given that the only time I actually used sources for damage was Wasat's, well, using Comet Azure, I probably don't even need to level any other staves because I'm not going to be using magic for anything else, really. Can I go up here? I... Yeah, I can barely make it. If I hadn't make that, made that, that would have killed me. I'm dead certain. Emphasis on dead. Okay. But, oh, hello there. Smithing Stone 7. It, it's a very cool place and very atmospheric. Even if it is a bit subdued, I do like that Elden Ring does have actual area music. This one is probably, honestly, just the basic castle theme. I really do like that one. We are no longer healing, so let's get our regeneration back up. It's pretty darn efficient. Thank you. And this is... Okay, just lightning grease. It, it is interesting how they have lots of areas to poke around into that don't really have meaningful rewards, even if it is an item. That is the closest thing the game has to just the throwaway weapons in Breath of the Wild. The fact that they've got all sorts of unique weapons with use cases, even if upgrading them can be kind of a pain, is very much something to its benefit. But at the very same time, there are a lot of consumables that aren't really all that useful. Because, honest to goodness, the only use case for that lightning grease would be if you really, really need lightning damage as a strength build. Because if you need lightning damage as a dex build, you can just run a lightning infusion weapon. But lightning damage isn't even really good. It's not even good. Most of the time. So it's just, yeah, if you really need lightning damage as a strength build, but just, okay, when is that going to happen? Hmm. Right over here, there's that pillar bridge. Huh. Oh, and there's a stone sword key. I think that leads to an elevator, maybe. There we go, I broke your shield. Well, broke your guard, didn't break the shield, just knocked it away temporarily. 
Hello there, I... Alright, I... Oh, oh, interesting. I, what? What? Okay. I was not expecting that. That was actually insane. We barely survived. I... Maybe I do need to just constantly have golden ballot. Maybe. That... That was good luck if I ever saw it. This over here, I think, is... Yeah, that separate area. So we're pretty close to... Pretty big side area, actually, which... I think that will have the special anti-lightning defensive spell. Alright, let's go up. There were other things down underneath. Oh, that's completely floating. There's no support for it. It's magic. It's interesting how they don't have a lot of just purely magic elevators in here. But honestly, before I go down this way, we'll go up this way, honestly. Dragon Temple Lift. Should find the other things there before resting in that grace and respawning all those annoying beastmen. Alright. Okay. Golden Vow. Let's continue moving forward. So there was this column over here. Beyond that, I, I can definitely make that jump. It'd be a little annoying, though. That down over there, which is connected to... That down there, which leads on more that direction. It That could be used to find another side of grace, presumably. I think. There we are. The jump length in this game always surprises me in a good way. Okay, and I do have Golden Vow up, but probably not for much longer. One, two... Oh, you're big! It's a big beast, man. Well, it, it's dead now. Okay. Oh, it's... Some kind of beastly dog. Feels like it might be kind of an oxymoron, maybe. I don't know, but... Did that guy fall? I think that guy fell. Precious item and... Oh, just another ancient dragon smithing stone. Okay, I guess. That... It's nice to get more, but it's just... There aren't all that many weapons I'm interested in upgrading at this point. Other than, I guess, those other glintstone staves in case I really want to use magic for something, but the only thing that I could really think of would be maybe spamming those really busted thorn spells from the DLC on some dudes, maybe. Okay, that beast man is dead, that's good. Put on Golden Valigan, just to be sure. And you know what? Oh, but I need some of that first. Put on Blessing of the Earth Tree too. It, It's decent. It's a guarantee against damage taken. You can use that to jump, that pillar to jump down, but I'd rather not risk it like that. Let's go over, find another side of grace, presumably, and then go to Dragon Temple Lift. It, I would probably say, I think a lot of it is also just, I spent a lot of time in it on my mage build because the build was not particularly suited to the area. But I'd say that Farm Azul is probably, maybe, it's definitely one of my favorite areas in the game. Might be my favorite period. It has a very unique atmosphere. You know, the music is understated, but sets the mood quite well. It they did a good, they did a very good job with it. And also, just when I managed to beat Godskins on my mage build, which actually Dragon Quest Shield, which is worse than Dragon Quest Great Shield, which I got earlier in Halo Tree. True of Ancient Dragons. Oh, but that's right. I should put on the other Dragon Crest Shield ones. Once I get to a grace, I need to switch stuff out in. That's not Death Root, is it? I can't imagine that would be Death Root. It could be, maybe. Is that? Ah, you're here too. You are alive. Okay. Let's continue moving. Give me a grace. Give me a place to rest in. Oh, that looks a bit like Garonk. It's probably just representing a clergy. You know, Garonk beast clergyman. And oh, hello, oh, oh, I... Alright. If we keep moving, they can't do much to me. I, okay. Well, luckily, they can be staggered out of that jump attack quite well. Oh, but that's the... Ooh. That's where that Crucible Knight is. Interesting. I, oh, hello. Enjoy death and... Remarkably hard to stagger. Huh. So is there a site of grace up here? 
And if so, let's see you. Let's put on a few bots before I get to swinging. And it, as good as Bloodhound Spang is, honestly, if I really wanted to go for pure stance breaks, I'd honestly probably be better off with just, but that was big. Charge heavy attacks, maybe. Are you ready? Because that goes up to, yeah, that's the bridge to Malakath. Hmm. It was up there, and... That Crucible Knight is... going to be interesting, I guess. I wonder how best I'd want to take him out. This goes to... Oh, this just goes back. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So, honestly, there's no time like the present to take on that Crucible Knight. So... I have my. Do have that shield. So then, and. Ah, oh, it's still got flame art, but actually it's barely upgraded, so it's trash. Hmm. It. Bloodhound Spang is actually gonna be my best option for doing damage right now. Maybe, maybe it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Just gotta buff up and go for the crits. It's going to be the final Crucible Knight in the game, I'm pretty sure. It honestly feels a bit nostalgic. I'm not sure I could say I'm going to miss that guy, but... Let's buff up. Blessing of the Earth Tree. Golden Vow. Rod, I forgot to switch my flats to something useful. It would do literally nothing for me here. Okay. Let's make it happen. My question is, could I sneak up on him? Well, maybe I could, but not now. Hi, I... Oh, thank you, nice. Critical. And... Decent enough damage. I... I... Oh, okay, I... Thanks, I... Dodge it. Thanks, there we go, critical. Karin Retaliation is just so good. I... And dodge it. I... Thanks. There we go. Fun of time. It. You can play with these guys. Uh, thanks. Uh, th okay, there we go. My big question is Will I be able to parry their startup for dodge? And, and thanks. Uh, oh, I timed that wrong. But that's good. I think we've kind of got him whooped. That's fun. Not sure he's actually going to transform. Uh, thanks. I. Uh, there we are, and just dodge. Okay, cool. I uh, and ooh, all right. I don't like that. I, ooh, okay. Huh. I interesting. Heal. Run back in and thanks. Critical. Much longer is my golden bell going to last? Okay, one more, one more. Oh now and we, and oh okay, all right. It's funny that he is the only one doing that. I thanks, and this should do it. Goodbye, Final Crucible Knight. That. Yep. Cool. Nothing special dropped, but that's the end of them. Every single Crucible Knight gone for good. It is interesting that the Crucible Knights are in for Missoula in the first place. There are a number of things you can maybe suggest. Well, part of it is just, again, it's kind of a retry of Stormvale, and there is a Crucible Knight in Stormvale, but... Could I make that jump? I wonder if I could actually make that jump. I know we can get up there eventually somehow, but... Whether I can make that jump or not, I need to try. That's what I know. But the fact is, is that Placidia Sacks, the dragon boss, the Lord of the Dragons we fight here, is explicitly a former Elden Lord. So someone occupying the position that we intend to occupy. And what that means is... Well, I do need to go to Shabriri. How am I going to make this jump? Probably this slanting stairway over... There we go, cool. That's just Smithing Stone 8, okay. Is that the Crucible Knights are connected to the Crucible, which is the old form of the Ur Tree back when it was sort of primordial life itself. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Let's go over here. 
the Dragon Temple rooftop. Or any of the rest of that, yeah, we gotta go back to Shabriri and the Zamor ruins. See if he's gone. And then hit a Dragon Temple rooftop, and yep, he's left. Leaving your set behind. Armed Kasa, Ronin's armor, Ronin's gauntlets, Ronin's greaves. Which means there's no longer anything here. Let's get rid of that marker. Let's check the description of that. And Armed Kasa, uh, the man who calls himself Shabur, crafted to imitate the woven straw hats worn in the land of reeds. Man, once known as Yura, kept a woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. Highly functional, heavily worn. And these are arguably. At least in the base game, the most sort of cost-efficient or weight-efficient pieces of armor in the entire game. It's pretty cool. Let's put back on most of our talismans. At least the ones that aren't outclassed by other options, because... I don't really use Crimson Amber anyway, but I will be getting a better one shortly, so... Ray Jars is just better. Already have a better Retreat's favor. May as well take that. Everything that isn't explicitly over outclassed by something else, we will take. Hail would drink, Pearl Drake, I guess. Immunizing. This clears things out. Okay. Make sure that but these stack. The Sorcery and Mutation ones actually stack. So you actually, if you can, may as well equip multiple at once. Even though their effects are, on an individual basis, actually quite small. But the fact that they all multiply makes them very, very good. The big thing is now I can actually put this on. Sacred Giant Crusher. Because there are a lot of funny little... Oh, we should right switch out the flask. Put on stone barb and res. Excuse me, res increase. And res increase is normal. So everything around here should be good. Okay. Just try it like this. And oh, there's something in there. Is that going to be a talisman or? Well, we'll see. Oh right, wrong amount of hands, and that's still consumed. Never mind. Oh, because I still need. Right, Star Scourge Heirloom. Right. Forgot about that. At least it didn't seem to consume FP when I did that. Alright. Cool. Hello. And can I slam that down on your head? There should be a big one, so slam it. Dodge and hit up or miss. Thanks. There we go. Cool. Let's put this on for a bit of healing. Maybe I should have used Golden Vow. Eh, it. Aside from the big ones, they are really no trouble at all. But just being able to get instant kills on the undead here is rather nice. Just one tapped with that anti-undead damage bonus, and in addition to that, just additional- Oh, hello there. Not great. Thank you, and can I- Hmm, let's back up. Actually, just using the projectiles against them is- Really, really good, especially if you can hit with a weapon during the attack, too, because it's got its own hitbox. Okay, just a Lord's Rune, that's okay. That's a decent, I guess. <sighs> Over there, oh, another Golden Seed, but we don't need Golden Seeds anymore, do we? Really don't. We're over there, so... Let's just slam it. There we are. It. I am very happy that I can actually use Giant Crusher. It... I was wondering if I'd... Well, I thought I'd be able to eventually, but... I've been able to use it for a decent amount. Even though it is literally the heaviest weapon in the game with a high strength wreck. But to be fair... It's easier to get around strength, strength wrecks than dexterity wrecks. And given that the strength wreck of Giant Crusher 2 hand is basically 40... There is an argument, which I would kind of endorse, that... Its functional requirement is 40, which is, in a way, lower than... The dex requirement of the Hand of Millennia, which is always 48 no matter what you do. Oh, right, they have those spells too, that's right. Okay. And can I use this? And there we go, cool. I should use some more of this stuff. Let's get a blessing on here. Okay. 
And we still have Golden Vow active, that's good. But just in case they drop something kinda good, I really don't want, honestly, it to be an- Oh my- Okay, we need healing now. Okay. And, oh my goodness, I swing and miss every single one of them somehow. Thank you, slam, and hit none of them. Well, one of them. Hit two. It, it's got decent range, if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> Starlight again. It, the Sun Realm Shield. I suppose it's the Sunless Realms. Shield of Honor depicting a city crowned by the sun. Some people think it's Elaine Dell, seen better days, much like the wear upon the shield. The seat of the sun is long faded away. Alright, cool. Just drop down, why don't you? Oh, do you not drop down? Well, die. Oh, but right, we weren't two-handing it. Okay. And if you drop something, well, it should actually be on the ground, because you did fall all the way down first. Smithing Stone 7. Okay. That... Just kiting and using the Sacred Blade, as in the actual Blade Projectile, is definitely a smarter way to go about this. But, looping around over here, there should be a smithing stone in there, maybe? Maybe. Oh, hello. Hi there. Let's put on a couple of... How many? Got an okay amount of flasks. But, can I use Sacred Void now, or... I need to buff that back up first. Okay. Put that on, and... Thank you. That bring others down, or... Come on. Just come down. There you go, you finally came down here. Oh well. And the last one is just not coming. Okay. Well, I guess maybe... You're supposed to kind of hit them to knock them down, but... Unless you use something with a big anti-undead bonus. Probably not kill them and then have to fight them. I think maybe it might be that they all come down if... You hit one without killing it. That would make sense. Thank you. And this is a golden seed, which again, I don't need. Oh, another rune arc. Very nice. Gotta love it. But there should be... I hear a scarab, and I think that one's gotta be the one with... Golden Lightning Fortification. At least I hope so. You were over there. It's a dragon over that way. I think. But in addition to that, I think most of the skeletons are gone now. Which means that there are dogs down there that I can and should take out just using Bloodhound's Fang. Dog on dog. Not dog eat dog. Dog, dog, kill dog. We're over there, and... Oh, okay, we'll use this. There's also... Oh, and it's got gold, because it's an incantation. Right. Okay, cool. One, two, three, and... Oh, hello there. Golden Lightning Fortification. So we got that. The issue is that now that it's awake, it is remarkably willing to run away, is the thing. So just in case, this one... Farm Azula Dragon. See, it just vanishes. But that is the only actual respawning Farm Azula Dragon in the game. It's why it exists. More or less. Just if you want to farm its drops, which are just gravel stones, which you can get through other means, notably. Don't really need that thing. Although we did get Golden Lightning Fortification. Greatly increases lightning damage gauge from caster and allies. Continue bringing delay the effect. Used by the Knights of Earthy Urchery during the assault by the Great Ancient Dragon to Ransacks, but awarded the Ancient Dragons that followed. And that's the big dragon in the middle of Lando. Okay. Let's put this on. For a bit of healing, but... Should be another dragon around that I can kill. But I do want to come back and kill this one thing. Probably requires some stealth in a number of ways, but... Shouldn't be all that bad. So I need to sneak around those skeletons unless I'm going to kill them all again, and I really don't. And then just starting off with a bunch of Verdon's reigns to hopefully kill it fast. Because when I use my mage build, I tried to kill it with Comet Azure. And it went up and just disappeared before that even happened. So I could probably use the Stance Break boost here, because 
Especially if you manage to hit the head, which to be fair isn't all that reliable. Radon's Reign actually does do a good amount of stance damage. But in theory at least, the best source of damage from a Great Bow Rain attack would be leveling up the normal Great Bow really, really high, and then using Rain of Arrows, the normal kind, with Radon's Spears. With Radon's with a Lion Great Bow on the other hand, because the boost that the Lion Great Bow gives to Radon's Spears is not just when they're used with the weapon. It's when you have the weapon in either hand out, and then fire an attack with the spears, which means you can fire the spears with another weapon, and they'll still get a damage bonus of about 20%. Also, they're faster than other arrows, too. Well, other great arrows, too. There's a farm of Zilla Dragon over there. And we can... Oh, no, this is where... This is where Iron... Fist Alexander is. Thought it would have been a different spot. Okay, well. Don't have Lion's Club right now, so. I guess we'll go out in with the Sacred Blade. That's fine. It's actually more interesting this way. Alright, we'll give him the fight of his life. And death. Uh, hello there. Time for the end of your quest line. Pretty cool. <clears throat> the fire John, for which is a summon, practically. The many. No reason not to buff up before the fight. It may be a little tricky. <laughs> then I suppose, just in case, leave nothing to chance but on Black Flint's protection. So originally there was a dragon here too. You are ready then. Let's get it started. Then let us begin. Mm -hmm. I am the great jar warrior. Oh! Didn't know he had that kind of attack. Togava. Oh, I. Ooh, alright. Well, it's not all that much damage, so let's charge up a swing and one more. Thank you, Alexander. Good job. That's all. As I suspected. Mm -hmm. Victory was impossible. This vessel was now lacking. We'll pass on his will. Welcome back. We just killed Alexander. Pass us on to someone. Our friend. And he exploded, giving us short of Alexander. He... It's very interesting because arguably they're kind of three Sigward or Sigmire type characters in. But what's really funny is that in the data, his name is Potmire. He's supposed to be he's supposed to be the Knight of Katarina character, but Lionel the Lionhearted, who's one of Fia's champions, that's the only place you see him also getting his armor in Lando. Has a very similar looking armor set. And Greathorn Tregoth wields very heavy armor and heavy weapons, too, but that's interesting that a yeah, sort of pattern on the ground. Keepsake of Warrior Jar Alexander, Court of the Dead Flesh, that must fill the Great Jar. Jars contain drags inherited from those who came before, whereas pass from jar to jar carrying dreams of greatness. Short of Alexander, await Alexander Shattered Warrior Jar, greatly boosts the attack power skills. Greatly boosts, which makes it really good with Radon's reign. Scraps of stewed flesh cling to the shard. Tatters of ornaments can be seen, mil seen mingled within the slime. Relics of a red-haired champion, it would seem. And presumably, people say that's from when he was eating the battlefield after Radon fight, that it's the remains of Radon. That he basically inherited Radon's power. 
I guess. So down there would be... Have I gotten down there? Not quite sure. I think I have. Yeah, I've gotten down there. It's the area around that whiff, I think. There's not much left in here, actually. It gone down to Dragon Temple rooftop, so it's just this little area. And then Pusidisax and Malekith. Interesting. Malekith shouldn't even be all that bad, presumably. Well, maybe. He's got a pretty low amount of, amount of HP. And he would be very, very good fodder for... The Giant Crusher and Stance Breaks. That... Yeah, we did go there already. Pretty sure. That ladder is... A bit familiar. Yeah, that was where those ashes were. No, where that glove word was even worse. Not even unique. It's an upgrade material for ashes. But I, I love Alexander. He's fun and wholesome. In an unironic way. But... Not a wholesome 100 Keanu Chungus way is an actually wholesome. But the thing about him is... <sighs> I missed the first encounter by going to jail tu Gale Tunnel on the Lingrave side pretty early. So I missed that emote, at least I thought, but I actually didn't. Because the second time you have to free him in Lyurnia, he also gives you the emote if you do it like that. So that was nice. So I want to go back and see if those dragons, that one dragon respawned. Because he replaced that one dragon over in, on that platform, which is actually not where I was expecting to find him. Oh, hello there. It's not expecting you either. I, oh, right. I, we need Star Surge Heirloom to make this, wait, what? I, oh, just wrong, wrong handedness. Right. Hello, I, thank you. Oh, one hit, one tap. That was quite good. So can I... Slam and kill. There we go, cool. Two gigantic beast men down. Beastmen skeletons, ancient dragon apostles cookbook, and that's ancient dragon bolt pot and lightning proof dried liver. That's right, I do need to go and cash in that prayer book with Corin, that's right. Can use it to drop down there to that side of grace, but why would I do that? Especially since there is another item around here, I'm pretty sure. Let's go and pick that up. Hello there, hello. And this is just a somber smithing stone. And there's something down there too. Is that ancient dragon or? Probably not. I Falling down there would probably kill me. That was close. And it would be a real pain getting back to. So, go down here and is this... Okay, just a smithing stone eight. That's okay. That's fine. So in that case, yeah, it's the lift. But first, we should go to mountaintops to cash in the book. Not Snow Valley ruins it. It's honestly kind of annoying how far you have to go to get to Corin and Gold Mask. Well, because if I didn't, didn't do it here, I would have to wait for... Well, I could just go to Muriel. But honestly, I want to give everything to Court and just see what it looks like when I get his bell bearing. When he, spoiler alert, dies. But... Wayne Dell is going to have to wait for next time, whenever that is. I don't think the finale should actually take all that long. Given that I've beaten Radagon and Elden Beast before in much lower levels, it... I should not really have problems taking them down. Well, taking Radagon and Elden Beast as well as Gideon and Godfrey and just the entire final boss of Rush. It... I honestly really like how, depending on how you define it, the final boss sequence is three or four bosses in a row. You know, with checkpoints in between, but still. The retreat started to burn. Mmm, but he doesn't say anything about that. Give a prayer book, the dragon swan, work of heresy, no lineage, whatever. Okay. It's a buy. Dragon's Lightning Spear, Secret Incantation of the Ancient Dragon Cult, 
Spear of Red Lightning stabs into the ground from above, impact and burst trails of lightning covering the area. Red Lightning is a weapon wielded by the Ancient Dragons, and this is actually pretty low requirements for something so late in the game. That's kind of the point. The reason it's so good is because... Well, requirements is because it's so late, kind of like Burn of Flame. Red Lightning spreads from Infect, Ancient Dragons Lightning Strike, and the stuff you get from Fortis Axe is basically higher requirement versions of both of these that are arguably stronger. But this is actually probably better than Death Lightning, just because Death Light is useless, but... Fortis Axe Lightning Spear is arguably better than this one. A ball of lightning scatters spreads around the surrounding area, charging enhances range of the lightning bolt. All right, shine through. So we bought all this stuff. I just want to see real quick. Go to the Elden Throne. We can actually see the Ur Tree burning, but since it hasn't actually fully taken a burning, it isn't is not as if the capital is ashen yet. Can't see a bit of flame. Over from the Outer World Battleground. Just want to take a quick look. Yeah, you can see the Ur Tree starting to burn. It's fun. I have a new balcony. Just want to take a quick look. Hmm. We're going to do all Royal Capital. And yep, it's no more ashen than it was before. I wonder if that's ash or just dust, which would suggest prior burnings, maybe. I don't know. Looks similar, but a little bit different, too. Dragon Temple. Rooftop lift. That rooftop is where we want to go next, but... To make progress, but first I want to see if I can kill those dragons, if those dragons are here. Let's put this back on for stealth. And then, actually, we could probably get away with that, too. Yeah, you can actually carry that, too. In that case, I think Shard of Alexander just boosts skills by about 15%, which is pretty good. Not horrible, not crazy. One way or the other. Full go, and what can I equip? And that's heavy. It's still heavy. Okay. Not that. Hmm. Great Shield, Shard of Alexander. Hmm. It's interesting. Go for that. See the Urge Tree and just sneak around him. Do the sprint sneak. Though to be fair, I probably don't need even to be sneaking and crouching. Well, we'll see. My question is just. Is the dragon there respawned and it. Oh, it just never shows up if you kill Alexander. Well, if you progress Alexander's quest line, I guess it just never shows up, period. That's fine. Okay, and I think that effect is gone now. Okay. Get over here then. Bypass those dogs, I suppose, but. So is it here ever, or. I just want to see. I just want to see. It seems like that dragon is just gone. Huh. Let's just check to make sure, and... Yeah, that dragon fight is totally skipped for the Alexander fight, which... The Alexander fight is arguably easier, too. That's what's funny. Okay, we can climb up this slope, which is good. Thought it might not wet us, but no, they were nice. For once. So, in that case, we... Gotta find a spot, but before that, we should kill the dogs. Hello. One, two, and another dog. Just in case we... Yep, good old jump attack. Sneak up on that dragon and just give it absolute hell. Honestly, we... Arrow's sting would also be good. And there we go. What can we put on in addition? This Crucible Gauntlets are okay. Hmm. I guess we could put on Blessing of the Urgery. Honestly, Flask could be good, but... Eh. And then uh, Flame, just in case, though. Flame grab me would in theory with the battle. Maybe. Okay. So let's get in close and see where I can... Head would not do me much good. Okay, so we 
Pudon's reign, and... Oh, hello. I did not expect that to get you. Hi there, hello. Just keep shooting. Thank you. I... Oh! We do have flame protected, which is nice. I... Okay, alright. Thanks, and... Can I... Oh, cool. I... Okay, well, this let me do things, and... When are you gonna go and... Counter frames up. There we are, and we almost died, but we didn't. Cool, and... This just... Yeah, it just threw up scramble stones, which you could farm by going to Grand Saxe's corpse anyway, so it don't see all that much of a point in it. Okay. So got the temple rooftop over here. Number of things you might want to toss out. Well as in toss at the enemy. Let's put our normal stuff back on. Which is of course Dragon Crest Great Shield and Great Jar's Arsenal can put on full bull goat except for the hat, but I like- Oh, those eyes are spooky. I like having my face visible, my pretty face. Subjective. And we got Lightning Spear, which means we can take out those annoying birds. Oh well. And well that- that will hit and it will kill. Now, in theory, I could be using something like Bolt of Grand Zax, but that would require a flask to work in. Oh, come on. One, two. Good enough. I actually didn't know that there were Stormhawks, well, snowy Stormhawks in. Oh. Not on tops of the Giants until. I went there. This playthrough, because when I went there last playthrough, and they're only around some more ruins, so they're actually pretty easy to miss. There was a lot I just didn't see, because I skipped everything in Mountaintops other than the fight against Okina for the Rivers of Blood, which I didn't use on that mage build, obviously. Well, I guess maybe not obviously, but I didn't use it. If only I had a right. Yeah, you don't have the right, or you don't have the right, you don't have the right. But, and then of course Fire Giant, which was very painful on a mage build. So where is Bolt Drake plus two? That would be good for Placidius Axe, but... Oh, it saw me. Oh, come on. Where is that one? And to hit you would be... That one. Well, I... Alright. Fun, I guess. Thanks, and... Ground you. And the other one is over where? Okay, there you are. Okay. There we have it. So let's put on Blessing of the Urchery again. Get down there where Bernal is. Right, we just jump there. Okay. That should lead to Bernal's location. If I want to be truly efficient, I guess we would maybe wait a little, but... Oh, the... Oh, okay. And this is... Is this Old Wood Talisman? I don't think so, but it is something. This is the... Oh, that's where the Drake Knight set is. Yep, it's what Eleonora wears. Black Iron Helm Warren, Spools of a Dragon Catch, Emote of Prize, both Dragon Hunter and Partaker of Communion. Birth Drake Knight speak not a word. Spend their lives pursuing the strength of dragons for its sublime beauty and inspiration of awe. Cape Crafted Dragon Wing Membrane. Some people think that Mesmer, one of the guys from the DLC, looks a bit like a Drake Knight. But when Bernal said we would meet again, he was telling the truth. Though maybe we wish he wasn't. He's going to invade us on a bridge over there. Hello, I... Okay, and... Oh, all right. I, come on. I, slash, 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 slash. can spam this. What animal is it? It... I feel like I don't know whether that means you're really good with animals or really bad with animals. I'd like to say good. A feels like a fox. Feels like a fox. What does that mean? As in it sounds like a fox or you touched it and it feels like a fox to the touch. Presume, presume the former. Okay. Go down here and... Okay. Do you? If you really wanted to, I suppose you could live with the ambiguity. 
The Unseen Fox. Classic. Feels like a detective story name. I mean, it sounds like a detective story name. Ryan, Ryan. So, Buddy Helix, which is actually pronounced Buddy Elius, if I recall correctly. It's funny. Okay. Really, Arterio Weaves? It's hitting a little inside here, too. Hmm. That dragon over there is actually really weak. Not a lot of health missing from the start. So I know that if I know what I'm doing, I can hit and kill. Hmm. Smart about this. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice of you. As opposed to people who think that foxes are menaces. And we can toss that again. Good old lightning. I wonder if lightning is specially effective against them. But it's a projectile and it's fast. So I oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Hit and another. Just chain that. And okay, well, we missed. Okay, I. Okay, well, I. Can I. Stab, stab, and. Okay, I. What? Okay, come on. That took a lot more to hit than I would have liked. And that dragon is very close to death. Hello, dragon that's very close to death. I. Oh, interesting. I, okay, I. Oh, well, it kind of made some of that work. Let's heal up. And can I? Oh, please. I. Stab, stab. Oh, interesting. I can't hit the head right now, so actually. Huh, oh, I probably want the bow out. Probably. Do I have. I don't have Golden Dollop right now. Not good. Let's put this down then and. Yeah, go for the hit I need to make. Thank you. And there we go. Let's... Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Huh. Because it arched up and just didn't get hit. Well, now you're dead. The Dragoner. Yelling compilation. Maybe the fox and the dogs will fight. Whatever works. Now they're ancient dragon smithing stone. Cut down there where Bernal will invade. That's the next question. Okay. Well, it it depends on whether your problem is more the noise they make, or I don't know. It. Some people do consider foxes to be nuisance animals. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Hmm. Okay. What else? Do you want to get to... I don't think I'll... I might fight the bosses, but I want to get in a position where I can quickly. I think we're relatively close to the next place here. Okay. Interesting. I would not have expected that answer. Let's continue... And I think there should be some beast men around here. Hello, hello. Fair. And can I... One, two, jumping would have been good. Okay, jump. And cut. There we are. It's max upgraded, so this is as good as it's going to get. One, two. Okay. And oh, there you are. Okay. We cannot slam... Before your bite, then we continue. Should be a healing grace around here, I think. Oh, okay. I feel like Night Fox is something some kind of gamer would have as a username. As a handle, a tagline. Oh, hello, I... If that knocked me off, luckily it does not do meaningful poise damage. Well, not meaningful knockback or stance damage, so... I think there was one more around here, maybe? Maybe. Down over there is the way to... Placidious Axe. Okay. So, then... Hello there, and I think this is going to be the way to... Malekith and... Oh, sneaking up on you did not work at all. Okay. Thank you. Is this the... Oh, my... Oh, okay. I, all right. Not fun. Let's get some buffs up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Blessing ends. Four are gonna come out. I Golden Val. Ooh, okay. Well, I... D dodge and... Okay, nice. Very magma. And, of course, you're gonna... Hmm, and... Dodge and cannot... Charge. One, two. Well, that killed, whether it would have stance broken or not. Bond by me. Okay, so... Let's go over. One, two. That was good. Where are their bleed reses? Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. Okay. Just see how this works. There was, of course, a tower with... Oh, is this the tower with Bernal in it? It might be. Interesting. I'm not quite sure, though. This goes up. This one's got an actual pillar underneath. But we can at least activate this side of the race over here. And that's the... Beside the Great Bridge. What other than the Great Bridge? What besides the Great Bridge? I do like how I can see the starlight kind of streaking above. Can you do that? So in that case, I'd like to think around here. It doesn't seem like it. Go around, take out Vernal, and then probably leave the last two, the two real bosses of this area is in Mount God's Duel. As well as the actual boss of the area, Malekith, for next time in conjunction with the actual end of the game. I thought it wouldn't take as long as it did. Fair, I think a lot of it is just... The fact that my time is a bit constrained by that neighborhood festival and... The platforming and Frenzied Flame prescription. The platforming and Frenzied Flame prescription. That was kind of painful. Okay, cool. So let's get down over there where there are a bunch of banished knights, among other things. Some birds down there that I need to get rid of. Oh, but to get down there, interesting. How'd I do that? I'd say about 12 more minutes if I want to be safe. It isn't really all that strict. Like I said, it's just there's a grunge cover band of some local dads that I wanted to go watch. It's performing relatively soon. So, that's really about the one thing that I'm worried about right now. There we are, and it falls off with the corpse. Nice. I mean, the corpse falls off with the item. Well, that, that does hit too. Nice. It, that, that's just a stereotype of anyone who does, who wears pajamas. I just don't wear pajamas. I don't like them. I just wear clothes that I'm willing to sleep in. Hello. And, oh, there you are. Okay. Oh. Please. Please. And, uh, oh my goodness. Just. Come on, you. Slash, slash, okay. Can I, uh, oh, all right. Slash, 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 okay, we need healing. Badly. I... I think you have more important things to worry about than whether your behavior quote-unquote conforms to stereotypes or not. I, th I think you're allowed to just do what you like. And then just be the one accountable for it. Okay. I'm starting to sound like my dad. Okay. I figured, but still. I just... It was an opportunity for a teachable moment. You know how it is. But is that... That should be where Bernal invades, right? Be a good last thing to do, I think. Oh, and there are gravel stones around here, right? Because this is around where Sidious Axe is. 
main thing is I'm, I don't think there's a shortcut to where Placidius Ax is. I just need to make this run from that side of the race every time I want to get there. Okay. It... I should have known better from the Italian. Italians don't care. Okay. It... I don't even really need the gravel stones, do I? You know, there's some things you can craft with them in the DLC, but it's... You know, there are special gravel stones for that. It... Well, DLC has a lot of bespoke crafting materials. It's interesting. We'll see what I think about it when I get there. Oh, okay. As in, they'll euthanize you? It sounds unpleasant. Oh, but... I'm not gonna have much in the way. Oh, okay. I, okay. Uh, can I... There we are. We can... Try like that. And can I... Thanks. Nice. Die, die. Okay, come on. Okay. And die. Uh, and stab. There we go. Still want to use too much FP right now. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you aren't getting euthanized. That would make me kind of sad. Oh, come on. Okay. And one, two, and... Okay. All right. I... Mm. Can I... Sub, and... Just can I... Mm. And... Thanks. Sub, sub. There we go. Stance break. Well, it, it's not just that. I feel obligated. I feel like I... Oh, we got the funny home with the hood. Deep red scarf used to block the winds. On the outskirts, the winds bite with a stinging fierceness. What's interesting is that the altered piece without the cape, without the hood, is not actually something you can exchange. So it's not really an altered piece in that way. Down here, I think this is where I think this little mausoleum is where you actually go to find Placidius X. No, not this coffin. Some coffin that you nestle into get teleported to the arena. Not sure exactly where it is and which one. Hmm. Okay. Anyone over here? There's you. I think this would probably deal a bit more damage than this stance break. I mean, more damage in the back step. Okay, and there we are. Cool. And, well, if you fall to your death, that works too. Bye. It, you know, we'll take it. We'll take those. Starlight. What I could do, honestly, is use... Oh, bloody helix without FP. It'd be silly, but it's possible. That, that should be that tower, right? Dragon Tower Shield. Where is Bolt Drake? Dragon Silver Protection, how they even the Great Shield's exceptional guarding ability. Ancient dragons rule in the prehistoric era. Check their ward is a wall of living rock. Anything else over this way, or... Hmm. I feel like there's... Okay. Let yourself rest. Don't destroy yourself for my sake. Or anyone's, really. Okay, I... Hmm. Okay. Please take care of yourself. This might be the position. Strong pull and precious items. So yeah, this is where Bernal is going to be then. Okay. In that case, I think... I don't really have a lot of buffs available, so... Honestly, I'll put on Flame Drink. That'll be good. We go up here then and anything else around or try to range to battle. Who is... That? Oh, is that another Crucible Knight? Okay, there's another Crucible Knight and it's fighting... Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's put that on there. Oh, not there, but shield is there. Okay, so that's right. There was one more Crucible Knight. Awesome. Put this on and take that guy down. Okay. Oh, I... Thanks. Oh, I... Thanks. I... Thanks. There we go. I need healing badly. One. Two. Okay, fair. And can I... Don't... Oh, I... Thank... Oh, I... I... Mm, thanks. And can I heal? I... Well, all right. I, thanks. There we... Okay, nice. And can I... Oh, I... Oh, all right. Oh, my... Well, 
Okay. Well, the problem of not having enough FP is solved now. Time to figure out a good place to go. Okay, whatever works for you. At least we got more Runox. That's good. In that case, honestly, probably like put on Bruno Flame. I mean, Catch Flame. That is the best way to take down those guys. Okay. Now we just run through, run past everything. But I. It's an okay number of flasks for what I have, but honestly, it. If I'm in a dungeon. Should have more blue. Okay. Let's go back to Dragon Temple rooftop, work my way back around. Take out that Crucible Knight and content myself with the situation. This, it's interesting. It, these Stormhawks are fun, but I just drop down, that's right. And the fact that that doesn't deal any damage is kind of crazy to me. Thanks, I, oh, I, okay. Uh -huh. At least they're actually not all that fast. My question is just how I'm going to be able to hopefully get a shortcut from where I fought Bernal in order to get to the Presidious Axe Arena faster, ideally. Maybe. It's the idea, at least. And yep, that dragon we killed with a smithing stone, and the other smithing stone we picked up there, that's all good. It's all manageable. Let's just get down here. Thank you. Okay. Put this back on. Thank you, blessing of the earth tree. Right, we take that off for now, and then switch back to Granger's arsenal until we get to the proper spot for the fight. Hmm. Down here, here. It's kind of tough. Question really is just what the best way to reach Presidious Axe would be, because like, blue is actually arguably better for healing than the flask than red. In terms of flask at this point, because blessing the Urchid gives a lot back over a decent amount of time, but if you use it, you can heal up between fights without much trouble. So it's a decent way to do things. Okay. Hello there. Hello. Hi, I... Can I... Okay, I... Interesting. And, oh, well, I didn't quite expect that. Thanks. And... Oh, alright. I... Okay. Thanks. I heal. Heal. Immediately. And another stab will do it. That was... A little annoying and embarrassing. Oh, there I... Right, we need... A bit of lightning to make this happen. And, oh, what? Okay. And of course there was another right. I, okay. Oh my goodness. I, all right. I can. Thank you. And another end. Stance break. Even though I use your storm attack. Okay. Thank you very much. So how many more are around? There should be one more. Guy who I can just toss off the end with a backstab. Actually. Forward knockback should do the trick. Maybe. Well, uh, whether it does or it doesn't, let's go for it. Hello, hello, and... Oh, well, alright. Thanks, and... Will that push you? Okay. The only thing left is going to be that Crucible Knight. That's just... Where's the lever? Okay, it's right here. Put... This back on here. And then put the shield on here. And presumably we can use... Yep, we can use the entirety of... That. Put this on. Buff back up. Get my healing on. Get my... Various other things on. Golden Vow and I guess Black Flames Protection. Because it is mostly dealing physical. And then it's Catch the Flame all the way home. Catch one, not catch the flame. Maybe. Okay, cool. So then we can sneak up. Once he's killed those guys for us, we can 
sort of vulture him. Thanks. All right, all right. Well, that it's interesting. Hmm, and we're there. One more, and that's. Well, they, he's actually taking a lot down. Okay. Huh. I maybe I actually want to reapply my buffs. Okay. And well, we okay. Let's put some of this back on. Hello, hello. And then we... Oh, interesting. I did not expect that to even hit me. Come on, come on. Let's block flame and then... Let's catch flame. And hello, hello. Will I... Thanks. Uh, oh, okay. Dodge and... Thanks. And burn, burn. Uh, okay, and... Thanks. Burn, burn, burn. Actually, uh, okay. And... That, ooh, thanks. I, I, okay. A uh, little tough, and I actually would probably be better off with a normal methodology of this. I, okay. I, there you are, and will that knock you off? Or, and dodge, thank you. Okay. I, thank, oh. Thanks. One, two, three, and, oh. Okay, and heal, heal, and. That didn't hit good. I okay. All right, and can I burn you from behind? And there we are. Well, almost. And can I? Oh please! You've got to be kidding. Heal and one more will do it. And there we are. It's the final crucible night down. The real final crucible night down. So Bernal should be on top here, and that will be the last thing I meaningfully need to accomplish. Old Words Talisman and some other things, but where actually would Placidisax be? I guess I don't actually know where I would find him then. Heavy load, take that off. Still heavy, okay. Let's put this on and take off helmet, and there we are. Okay. Buff up, get invaded, kill him. Good stuff. Let's only turn around from the bridge, I think. Once we see stuff going on. That's kind of my cue. So in that case, in that case, there's something. Oh, hello there. Go ahead and embrace death. Thank you. Get zapped. That's, that's where Boldrake plus two was. Okay, right. Thought that might be the case. And, wait, what? I... So where do I fight Bernal? I... Huh? Did that just loop around that way, or am I crazy? Is he up there? He can't be up there, right? I hope not. I just... I may be more confused than I ever expected to be. Maybe. Well, I... Huh. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I... Oh, maybe from up there, maybe? To drop down, maybe, then? I don't know. Hi, hello, I... Oh, but that doesn't let me go up there. Okay. Huh. All right. Hi, uh, interesting. Okay. Hi, hello. One. Two. Three. And miss. Okay. And we need to... With... And... Miss. Thanks. Okay. That means to me, gonna have to figure some else out, but through most of this stupid place, I, uh, maybe it's this, it might be this, it's not this, okay, get up top there, I need to drop down then, okay, let me just see, don't think there will really be anything there, but just in case, hmm. I don't know. This. I know I fought Bernal on my mage build, but I can't really remember how. If it doesn't. If this doesn't work, I don't really remember how. Hmm. Let's just go up and see what's up top. But. Either way, I think I need to be up and off soon. Probably. In a hot minute figure that out, but to get over there onto that bridge, 
That's another question entirely. Thank you, and can I... Slam it. There we go, stance break. It... Depends on your definition of edgy. This is... This can take you back some of these spots, but... I... Okay. Well... Okay, then. That... Was interesting, but... I think that'll be the end of things today. And with another stupid death. So I think given that this is its own dungeon, I'll log out here. We're, we're mid-dungeon. So that'll be all for today. So next time will be an invasion, three bosses in here, three slash four bosses in Lando. It's going to be one heck of a rush. See you next time. Sonoragon.